Yo! Thanks, Heiser. I've been working on that for a little bit now. I can breathe. Hazri. Take a breath a while ago. Change title doesn't mean I'm ready off rip. I got shit to do. I called my mother. Yada, yada, yada. Just had my subversary. T Reed! That is not what that means. Well, I guess it is a subversary. It's a month. You're sub for seven months. Sure, you had a resub. Subversary. Yeah, that works. I always think of a year, but subversary doesn't necessarily mean a year. Please beat the LUT luck. I want my account back. I installed it. We can play it today. I would like to get through the victory road today. And I have no video to upload, so I have no time I need to end. So I think we'll chat a bit. I am using the new PC now. I'm doing Score Esports. We're doing the You Laugh, You Lose with Shock Caller. And I want to look at some of the Nintendo Direct shit. I want to chat a bit about the ban. And then Ludlock. YouTube unbanned forms? You can't ban someone on YouTube. You can only hide their channel, I think. Streaks alive! Video 620 uploaded in a few minutes. Let's go! Pokemon today, a thousand percent. Literally one thousand percent. Am I hyped for Breath of the Wild 2? I haven't watched a trailer, but I am quite hyped. Drink water, drink water, XQCK. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. It was a bit of a LUD win today, wasn't it? What's up, chat? How's it going? Welcome back to the stream, boys. Thank you, Patters, for the five months. Ayan Amikari, thank you for the three months long-legged goth Knox Taco. Please wait for it. Appreciate these subscriptions to my channel, boys. Yeah, I was gonna stream at 9 a.m. I woke up at 8.30... And then I saw that Nintendo Japan tweeted you couldn't watch it. And I thought there's a very small chance that they'll actually ban it. And actually take people's streams down. And I went into Connor's stream. I went into Lyric's stream. And I went into everyone who restreamed its stream. And their chats were fucking miserable. Just full of narcs. Um, Lyric, I don't know if you know this, but Twitter said you're not supposed to stream this. And I read all those messages and I was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I, I'm not even worried about getting banned. I'm more upset about dealing with chat because I think chat will be a fucking hellhole. Thank you. It's Isaac for the prime saliva. Thank you for the four months. Eliza, thank you the 17 months. JBMX to Patrick. Wow, Irish, nine months, very cool. Can I call you dad? No. Fuck no. I have to birth you. All right, I didn't donate my sperm at the sperm bank. I backed out last second. They were holding up the bottle for me. Diverted. Swerve. No kids for me. Blood Moon, thank you for the five months of prime turtle cramps. Thank you for that sub, appreciate it. MBN, thank you very much. Times New Ramen. What's up, man? How'd you get on ban? I'll tell you about it. I'm uploading a video about it. It'll go live in about, uh, like, five, ten minutes. But, um... But the, the straight-up answer, the quick one, is you guys. It's chat. It's YouTube. It's Twitter. So that, that worked out. That worked out. My viewers were pretty fucking clutch. Lady Ash, thank you for four months. Chrome, thank you very much. Staniel with a fat raid? He raided me? Stans, he never raids me. I'm blessed. I'm blessed on this day. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. That is a 1,000 viewer raid from Stansy playing a video game. Pretty pog champ all around. Thank you, Stans. Thousand boys when I played Dark Souls, I had 30 viewers. Dead ass 30s. A thousand is 30 times bigger than I was. 
Resub, thanks for the great weekend. Hey, man, don't thank me. Just Venmo me $2,000. That should cover the hotel room and everything. <laughs> also have Rochelle Venmo too. That's 4K. <laughs> for don't forget about Jess as well. Have Venmo me. Call it, a, call it an even Steven situation. Oh, shit. Primes are flooding. Boys, it's time to achieve your civic duty. <sighs> if you guys haven't already checked, do me a favor. Click on a channel you really, really like. Click the subscribe button and see if it says subscribe free in purple, your primes fund me, fuel me. I'm trying to run a 100% prime backed operation. All right, Politico just dropped the article. Jeff Bezos has a salary of 81K a year, paid less than in income tax than I have in the past three. It's unbearable. So every prime you do takes away a little bit from his company. Pog champ. Use your primes. Doesn't have to be on me, by the way. I'm also rich. I mean, I'm not Jeff Bezos rich. He's got that on me, you know, by a, a pretty large margin. But any small streamer you want, whoever it is, uh, go find them right now. Use the prime on them and come back to me. Tell me who you use it on. I'm totally happy to hear anyone you use it on. Anyone I follow, I recommend. Artosis, Big Left, Jericho, Mango, Teja. Anyone, literally anyone I follow. Alex is doing an uncapped subathon if you guys want to do it to him. He asked me some questions about it, Trihex. Everybody I follow, worth a prime. Well, actually not everyone, I actually follow some shitters, but most people, <laughs> most people. Duck Quacks Quacksing the 22 months cocktail tier list, Mango Ludwig Friday. You did it. You came up with an excellent idea. I could also do a beer tier list with Mango as well. Because cocktails require people to make them, which also might be funny, so I'm down. It's a good idea. Yeah, we'll get Mango over here to do that. Sheesh, good ideas flooding in. Game Nerd, think of the 10 months. Xenocide, think of the Prime, Lonely Llama, Shyly Megawad, Waiting for Dune. Hold up, let me go through this. The real only Caleb, Tim64, 36 months. That's three years. Feel strong, man. Clap. And I can't believe you're still sub to me because you unsub for so long. Hey, dude, guy, thank you for the three. You lail. Thank you very much. Body check, Sklept. Garnbury, Korosavi, Tangakino, Kevin Cranberry, T Knuckles, 18 months. Fire, no LZZ. Famu Sakai, Cooper, Pixel, Big Head, Non Zane, Simbo, and Digi. Thank you for the subs. If I miss you, I do apologize. I really appreciate your sub. It actually is super, super sweet for you to use any amount of money, even if it's technically a benefit of Amazon Prime and in conjunction with other stuff. It's, it's still nice. They use it on me, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. You guys are you, you're nice. Do I buy mac and cheese or not? Nah? Yeah, if you're hungry. Fuck it. Why not? Thank you for the subs, boys. That was almost a completely uh, primed out hype train. That's kind of sick. My sticker mod check, uh, the amount of money you paid mod check. Oh, zero bucks. And you're still giving me shit? Goddamn. It's coming! Unless you live EU, in which case it probably has to go through some like weird COVID check. Jack got games, the stereotypical nerd thing in 15 months. Apex Titan, Rhinon, thank you very much, boys. What's up, chat? Good news! I'm unbanned! I'm unbanned on YouTube. Holy shit. Thank the Lord. I'm unbanned. I could not be more um, happy with how that turned out. Literally five hours. I think I had the shortest ban ever on Twitch. <laughs> I got banned at 10 p.m. I got unbanned at 3 a.m. That's that's fucking sick. That's that's dope. What'd you get banned for? Some people don't even know I got banned. Where'd your facial hair go? I shaved. I had actually such a good day today. 
I woke up, I found out I got unbanned, I watched Connor Eats Pants react to the uh, direct, and then I fell asleep. Woke up, ate food. Went to the gym for the first time in like two months. Hey, this is your reminder to go back to going to the gym and shit, you lazy fuck. Because uh, I had to do that today. Squatted 245, 10 reps, easy clap. Talked to my mom for a nice 20 minutes. That's always a good refresher. Reminder to call your mother as well. Zaddy Staxing the five gift man. Appreciate it. Banned from Twitch? Nah, banned from YouTube. I was banned from YouTube for a little bit. But uh, it is it is all good now. It is all good now, and I am back. And I'll tell you about the ban. We're going to do a You Laugh, You Lose with the dog collar. And we're going to look at the score esports, the story of Ludwig. And then we're going to play the Ludlock, and we're going to get through Victory Road. And that's my agenda today. We're going to hit all those things. Nothing else is going to uh, fall in the way. Tomorrow, we're going to do, hopefully, the uh, Reddit recap with the hair of Ludwig von Koopa. And then I think maybe the Amazon stream, if I set everything up in time, the Amazon unboxing. And then it's about, that's, yeah, that's, that's, or maybe, you know what, actually? No, what we'll do instead is I'll do the Reddit recap with the hair and then we'll beat the Ludlock tomorrow, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. And then Thursday we'll do the uh, good old fashioned Amazon unboxing. Because I have to set a bunch of shit up for this Amazon unboxing. I bought a $2,000 chocolate fountain. I, 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 I have like a booklet. Like a thick ass New Testament, Old Testament size booklet on how to set it up. Why? Because Atriox, dumbass. What do you mean, why? DK Avian says, hey, Ludwig, I have a very simple question. Should I buy a pork belly mac and cheese or obtain the motherfucking bag and get Beast Burger? Uh, I mean, look, I have had Beast Burger. It's pretty good. It's very variable, I think. Like, depending on where you are, because it's all ghost kitchens. So there's not as much of a consistency check. There's not like a general manager for a region that goes to every location and tries it to make sure it's of quality. Uh, so I don't know about the Beast Burger by you. The one by me is pretty good. I would say, though, that fucking pork belly mac and cheese sounds a bit nuts. Sounds a bit juicy. But it's up to you what you're feeling. Unbanned forms? Maybe Friday? Maybe we'll have Mango come over Friday? I'll, I'll hit him up right now. I'm going to DM Mango. What do you think... Mango Ludwig Friday IRL, but we do a beer or mixed or cocktail tier list. And then I'll type pog to make it sound better. That's what you guys do. You guys will like ask me some shit and then throw pog after. As if your idea is exciting, you know? Like it's not inherent. You guys are like, a Ludwig, what if, what if today we play, uh, I don't know, maybe Madden 05 pog? <laughs> Would it not be Pog if we did unbanned forms? Ooh, what if you just spend the next week playing Hollow Knight every day, Pog, you? To just throw in that little extra sauce. And let me tell you, it fucking works. That's the worst part about it. It's effective. Because I see that and I'm like, that sound Pog. When you put Pog after it, it sounds Pog. Have you ever played Pokemon Adventure? No, never. I don't even know what that is. Did you lose the streak? No, the streak's alive! 620 uh, uploads. Uh, 620 is going to be uploaded in a couple minutes. Dave, I'm happy you're back on YouTube. Thanks for the mostly free content heart. You gave me $10, so that goes out the window. But I do appreciate it. It would have been free. Uh, that's very kind of you, gamer. I think the one year Johnny O Potato Flying Banana Four Months Snow Tomorrow Doll Off in Lysa Virus. Appreciate that, boy. -y 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 -y. Am I still gonna play in the OTV SMP? I think because Rust is coming, I might just skip Minecraft and then just jump to Rust server. Cause it's almost like the Minecraft server is gonna die July 1st, right? It depends. I, they might, if Minecraft goes well for them, delay it. So we'll see. We'll see. 
Because they've almost, like, it's weird. They almost put, like, a death sentence to the server by having a Rust server come out. So, I don't know. Isn't it crazy Abe and Wendy met on a Minecraft or Rust server and then they got married six months later? Small world. <laughs> I said that to them in real life. <laughs> When I congratulated them on the on the proposal, I was like, guys, isn't it crazy we all met in the Rust server and now you're going to get married? <laughs> They've been dating for like years. They lived with each other when the Rust server was out. <laughs> Nobody fucking knows that though. They just know, you know, the blood god. So they're like, uh, JD Stig, should I leave my wife Pog Champ? Um, it depends. It depends. Have her play Ludwig higher lower, and if she gets less than 10, literally dump her instantly. Because anybody who's unable to get 10 in a row just isn't worth your time. I mean, it should be free. It should be genuinely the freest thing of all time. She should just cruise through these things. But, you know, that might not be the case, which means she might not be the one. She might not have the skills like... We do. Good thing we're not married. Nothing like AFKing some sand grabs on old school RuneScape and watching a You Laugh You Lose stream pog. Yeah, this is going to be a more chill You Laugh, You Lose. It's just going to be, I think, reacting to unusual memes with the laugh tracker on. Uh, and I might do it again with Slime if I get a second one. Uh, if this goes well. But I, I, I don't know if I want to do it with Slime because I'm pretty sure it's just going to get demonetized immediately. Uh, Unbanned, you say? Uh, Azazel Eyes, think the 500 bits. Moto, think of the 12 months. Ping the Discord, please, people shy. Oh, I literally wrote the message. I didn't hit enter. Mango always is patronizing. I told him the idea, he replies, oh, like your little tier list where you try everything and rate it? Well, what's little about it? Oh, like your, your little baby tier list for babies where you where you try alcohol? Is that what it is? Is that what you're doing? Your little, your little baby tier list? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, all right. Uh, I got unbanned on YouTube. Let's celebrate. Live now. He did tier list too. I know when I was uh, gone for, uh, I forget what. I think my break, he did a tier list. The haircut makes you look like Guile from Street Fighter. I would love to be in Smash Brothers. Make me an alternate skin for Guile when they eventually add him. Oh, by the way, chat, do we care? I don't know. Are any ultimate kids in chat? Anyone give a shit about the new guy in uh in Ultimate? I was in Connor's chat. They were harsh. I was in Connor's chat and Nintendo would be like, here's a new character. Here's a new video game. And they'd be like, Resident Sleeper. <laughs> Everyone was just resident sleepering any news that wasn't straight up Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be released in the X period. Here's the video of it. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, I'm not so big into other fighting games, so I don't really know. But it's just crazy that that's like crossed over. I think people are just so jaded now because they get fucking... S I hate kids, bro. They get Steve from Minecraft, right? They get like every Pokemon in the Pokemon universe... And all of a sudden, they're like, ugh, my god, Tekken. I wanted Master Chief or Sora. <laughs> oh, my god. The fact that I can't play as Gone Gone from Monkey Ball in Smash in 2021. Not Sakurai dropping the ball again. Like, come on. It, it's like... You know, 
I, I get that from a competitive standpoint. I don't think it holds a candle to Melee. I really don't. I don't think if you are trying to get really good or watch pro players play it, it's not that good. But from like a casual standpoint, if you're a fucking kid, Smash Ultimate is like the coolest game ever. I can admit that freely. It's so fucking amazing that you play with like everybody. I mean, fucking every Joker from Persona, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy, Steve from Minecraft. That's crazy. Those three names alone are crazy. That is a crazy thing. When I was a kid, the bonus character was Dr. Mario. Because they got fucking, like, out of time. It was the 11th hour, and they're like, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. And they're like, put a, put a fucking st a stethoscope on them. I don't... And that was it. That's all they did. It was lazy as fuck. Nowadays, they got everybody, bro. It's insane. And the game's pretty fun. Except for everybody who shoots a projectile. Kind of cringe. Those people kind of cringe. Uh, but I I, uh, I did look at a few of the trailers. I'll, I'll just look at a few of them on stream here. Because I, I, I watched them 8.30 a.m. Or like, no, I should say 9.30 a.m. Kind of tired um, from Connor Eats Pants perspective. Um, but I didn't get to really absorb it. And I also didn't watch the Breath of the Wild thing because I fell asleep. I literally fell asleep. It was actually embarrassing. I fell asleep when they said, this is our last video. And it was like Zelda's shitty Hyrule Warriors. And I was like, I closed my eyes. I was like, I don't want to watch this. I'll just keep my eyes closed. Then I fell asleep. And I woke up and Twitter was like, Breath of the Wild 2. I was like, what? <laughs> I sat there for 35 minutes and I missed the one thing I was there for. That's cool. That's sick. David Dobrik's new video. I did watch David Dobrik's new video. I definitely won't react to it, but I did watch it. It felt um, tame. I was expecting him to go like nuts because I think that was his original plan. Throwing everybody out of a fucking plane, like literally having David get up, like, I don't know, have his eye taken out by David Blaine or some shit. And then replaced. I, I don't know. I was expecting some crazy shit. Um, but instead, what I got was like a pretty tame video. Which I think is good. Maybe that'll get him more into the swing of things. You know what I mean? Like maybe this built up pressure was the problem. And he just needs to get back to uploading. But I also realized that I don't think I give too much of a shit anymore. Like, you know, you know, do your best. I'm not trying to tear down anyone. You know, uh, go off enjoy but i'm kind of i'm good <laughs> i'm good just not watching david dobrik vlogs is what i had realized it's not like i felt like there was a hole that i was missing when he uploaded i was like let's go it was more like damn i feel like this is going to be pretty culturally significant i'll look at it but that's about it for me and i'm i'm fine go off be successful you know do your best but um, I, I just, I don't know. I, I just think this 17 year old British vlogger has taken over now. It's all Tommy in it all the way down. Tommy in its world and we're just living in it, chat. All right, how I accidentally got banned on YouTube is now going live. Uh, and then we can talk about the ban. And then after talking about the ban, we can look at a bit of the direct... Then I would like to look at that score esports video. And then I would like to do a you laugh, you lose. And then I would like to play Pokemon. And that's my vibe today. Hopefully it fits your guys' vibe as well. Uh, pause champ. I'm uploading the video. Magic Bean in there.
Mario Kart with Clint Stevens, I have to set it up. It's going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to get 12 streamers to confirm a single day and then have to get them to show up. It's going to suck. I'm going to hate every second of it. But I'll get it done at some point. For now, guaranteed Germa Saturday at 2. And that's, uh, that's our big thing. Uh, why can't I subscribe with Prime? I started my free trial today, but it won't let me use it. There might be some sort of buffer period, uh, or maybe I think they removed the ability to use Prime on free trials because people were abusing that. I think that was it, right? It used to be free trial, you get a Prime, and they got rid of it because people were basically making accounts using Primes and then ending it. So you need to actually get it. You can't use Prime uh, trial. Uh, and I also think student discounts don't let you get Twitch Prime is what people are saying. But I'm not so sure on that because I am no longer a student. Although I guess we're always students. Always room to learn. Anyway, boys, if you guys don't know, I got banned on YouTube um, yesterday. I got banned at 10 p.m. through a message in my dashboard that literally just said, hey, um, you got a strike. And I've already got a warning four months ago. That's kind of bullshit, to be honest, but I've never appealed it because I thought it would never happen again. So I just kind of ignored it, which maybe isn't the smartest thing, but it's what I did. It's what I did. So uh, I got banned. Not hi, YouTube guys. There, I'm, I'm pretty much just recapping what's in this video. Boys! <laughs> So you don't need to say hey. This is hey. Just say hey to yourselves. You guys can just you guys can just peepo hey to yourselves. Anyway, that's it. That's the idea. Uh, I got banned um, for my last "You Laugh You Lose," which is currently available. You guys can currently watch it. It isn't flagged anymore. Uh, it's the one that's called if I laugh I lose a thousand dollars today the uh, It's only age restricted. It's still monetized, which I didn't even know was possible I didn't know you could age restrict something but still monetize it I wish more things would be age restricted and not demonetized But usually unfortunately it's the other way around and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the video that got flagged was uh, the video I, and I don't know because they don't tell you unfortunately uh, one of the many flaws of YouTube as uh, good of a platform as it is and as many lives as it's changed is that they don't give you a lot of information um, So the video was this kid who was in a car who basically just exited the car while it was moving and That's it. That's the whole entire video and then his friend in the back seat is like yo Sheesh, and that's that's pretty much it. I don't know if it's still actually in this. I don't know if we removed it We might have removed it from this already because I told my editors to edit it out because I can appeal the age restriction. And I think if I do, it'll be fine. I think it's already gone. But I could be wrong. Where was it? Was it toward the end? Yeah, it's already gone then. Which is good. I mean, that's I, I asked to get it removed. But that's it. It's uh, it's around four minutes. Okay, wait. That's the sheesh guy. That's monkey getting shit on his face. Oh yeah, it's right here. Looking at his mom or dad shit down his throat. This is fucking jackass. What's up? We got the fucking do rag. We got the fucking do rag, bitch. What's up? And that's it. That's the whole video. Uh, and I think that flagged uh, the video. Uh, or maybe it was mass reports. The thing about it is I'll, I'll literally never know. Because uh, that's not really how YouTube operates. Sometimes my videos will get demonetized. And, and I'll reach out. Because they have a customer support line. And I'll be like, hey, YouTube. Because they have like this partner portal. Um... What's going on? What did I do wrong? How can I fix it? And I don't even know why. I, I literally am confused why they employ people 
to type in this chat because I'm talking to an actual human. I don't even know why they do that because the only thing they ever say is, well, here is our list in terms of service. You can look at that, and that's why it was demonetized. Good luck. And that's it. That's all they do. And you can be like, yeah, is there anything specific I can take away? Is there a timestamp that I should look at to maybe refresh so that I don't do this again in the future? And they'll be like, well, here's a list of our terms of service, smiley face. Make sure you're not breaking that. And that's it, you know, and it makes sense, right? Like nobody wants to speak on behalf of YouTube and it's probably been drilled into these people who, you know, are working miserable jobs. And I know that because I worked that job at Apple for two and a half fucking years. That was my job. That's what I did. Two and a half years. Someone would call in about an Apple problem and I'd try to help them. Uh, and, and, you know, you're, you're basically drilled to be this robot who's, who's, who's literally only job is to Google a solution and then show the person who's calling in the Googled solution. That's most people in customer service. Hey, my phone doesn't work. How do I fix it? And I will look up an article that says how to reset and I will send them the article. Hey, I don't know how to reset my password article, how to reset, send them the article. That's, that's, that's the job and that's, you know, makes sense. They don't want people to go too off the rails and give advice that might get them into problems or something. I don't really know. All I know is that they don't give me the information. So I'll never know why exactly I got the flag, but I got the flag and I got banned and, um, you might've seen it on Twitter or you might've seen it on LSF or you might've seen it on YouTube. Um, but the fact of the matter is I got banned at 10 PM. And the other fact is that you guys got free Ludwig trending. And I originally didn't want to tweet because I thought it like tweeting is kind of a Karen thing to do. Like it's when people, you know, when influencers will tweet about their airline or like bad service they have at a hotel. I'm so disappointed with the delays in American airlines. And it's like, eat shit, bro. We don't give a fuck. I didn't want to be like that. And, uh, and, you know, talk shit. Um, but I was sad. I was sad. So I think that was the main point of the tweet is that I was, I was just genuinely sad. And I did tag Team YouTube, but I wasn't like, fuck YouTube, bro. I can't believe this. Tell me why. Fix this. Unban me. I was like, this happened. This is the result. I am sad. <laughs> and that was it. And uh, from that tweet, hashtag Free Ludwig was, I think, number three trending at peak, which surpassed the Holocaust, which I don't feel good about. This is not a flex. This is a, this is almost a grievance that I would like to, I feel like I, I need to go into a Jewish confessional. Do they have those? Do Jewish people confess? They don't sin, I guess. Maybe they just, they just skip the sinning, right? Maybe they just do that. That That's probably better to be honest. So I don't know. I don't know. Either way, uh, I will somehow purge that from my body and spirit and mind, but that it was number three trending, which is, which is crazy. Um, because everyone was, you know, I think maybe sad or maybe felt the sadness for me, or maybe my attempt at stopping parasocial relationships has only heightened them to such a degree where you guys think I'm like an actual real person who's genuine and not fake like other influencers, thus actually heightening our parasocial relationships. Cause I talk about it freely. I don't know. Either way, uh, it was number three trending and they fucking replied, which, which is insane. And I don't want to, you know, like uh, absolve all YouTube sins because they did good by me, but I can also admit that they did good by me. There's a bunch of things wrong with YouTube as a platform and they're not consistent with how they treat creators and they have favorites and all these yada yada problems, but, uh, they did good by me, which was, which was awesome. And I, and I was already sleeping. I went to bed at 1am. I took fucking 18 melatonin. I was basically replacing all of my mind's pheromones, hormones with melatonin so I could sleep so I could wake up for the direct. That was my goal, which I did successfully. And I woke up not just in the Nintendo direct, but to a tweet that said, um, Hey, you should be unbanned now, which is fucking amazing. So the streak is back. It's fully alive. I just up uh, uploaded a video on the YouTube, uh, and I'm looking forward to the basically next, you know, however many days I will keep the streak alive. Because it's fully intact and I have like no desire to end it at this point. I really like keeping it going. So I'm going to keep it going, uh, which is fucking dope. I'll go at least, we'll just say at least 
till the end of the year for now, and then we'll reevaluate. But I think the number I'd like to hit is a thousand. So I need to go at least another 11 months, I think, to hit a thousand days of uploading a video. And then after that, maybe I'll be good and maybe I'll chill for a bit. We have a few milestones to get in the meantime, 696, two years, end of this year. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we're at 720. So it's actually over a year, right? It's a year and 15 days. It's almost, it's like July 1st, 2022 is a thousand days of uploading. And I'd like to go there. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get there. Uh, and then after that, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll reevaluate. Do I edit my own videos? If I edited my own videos, I would, I would, oh my God, I would be the most miserable human. <laughs> I edited my own videos, not only streaming like four, six hours a day, but then editing the video and then uploading it, making the thumbnail, making the title and also doing like other business shit. I would have zero hours. You got to think like, you know, I, I'm a YouTuber, but I'm not like a conventional YouTuber, like, like, uh, like abroad in Japan, like that guy will film his own shit and edit his own shit. And he will spend most of the time editing post-production. You know, which is kind of how movies work. I mean, pre-production is usually really long too, but you know, that's that's how it usually works is that you spend most of your time editing. Yeah, like Donkey. But uh, I don't do that. I don't get why they do that. I, I think they should just get a fucking editor and <laughs> call that a day. My thought process is I, I'll, I'm not an editor first, you know, but some YouTubers are editors first and that's what they enjoy doing the most. So no shame to them. Thank you to $10 Bonk Whale. What's up, man? Hope you're going to have a good one. Just landed a job today, and I'd be feeling fine. Congratulations on landing a job. That is fucking hype. It's ripe, right? Isn't it like the perfect time to get a job right now? That's the one thing that we got going for us right now in America is jobs are a plenty. Maybe not the most high-skilled ones, but the highest paying, I should say. Yeah, I think a lot of people's editing defines their channel and it's important for them to keep the editing power. My Discord is broke, is it? What about it's broke? I don't know how to fix that. How does, what does that mean when you say Discord's broken? Like, just my Discord doesn't work. Yo, RolfCon! Thank you the two years, man. Let's fucking go. It works fine. All right, I'm just going to add everyone again just to see if it works. Yeah, that works. Oh, the command might be broken. That would make a lot more sense. Did I see what Chris said? Chris Broad? Yeah, I pretty much hear every waking word he says. Iconic ghosting the 17 months. Sadifa thing the four months. Robert thing the six months. Tim thing the 21 months. Appreciate it. So anyway, got banned at 10 p.m. Got unbanned at 3 a.m. Uh, here's the actual tweet. Oh, wait, no, I'm not logged into Twitter. I can't do it. All right, never mind. <laughs> I can't pull the tweet right now. But basically, YouTube tweeted me out and said uh, they're going to fix it. So that is the full entire update. Fully unbanned now, uh, which is dope. And I love to hear that. I love to uh, be able to upload again. And now we can move on to greater news. Namely, all the juicy announcements today. The one I'm most excited about. Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and minigames. Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's birthday cake and Spaceland. 
Each board is packed with zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. Zany? And when we zany? When we say zany, we mean it. Zany? Jump. Connect blocks. Pretty good game. And give facelifts? Great game. In hilarious over Great game. mini games. Okay game. Great game. All of which support button controls. With 100 Great mini game. games from the Mario Party series. Wait, hold up. Oh, book squirm. That's a pog champ for me. There's book squirm. This game fucking sucks. The shooting game with the arrow because you can pinch people. Oh, uh, this game sucks. It's RNG. This game's amazing. I wonder if they have daytime, nighttime because that's this is a Mario Party 6 game. It has a daytime and a nighttime variation. Is this Bowser's Blast? This one's sick. I love this game. I hope, hopefully Dungeon Duos is in there. I love this game. This is the Mario Party one where you have to put the, the items back in the correct order. I think this is uh, the Penguin Slide. That one's sick. Mario Party 2. Series catalog. You'll have a blast in this all-star fun fest. Here's a little party favor. All game modes work with online play. Oh my god. Isn't it crazy how abused we are from Nintendo? That the fact that they say online play is like this God bless moment. It's a serene moment. We're like, imagine, imagine fucking Xbox rolls around and they go, Halo. But this time it's going to be online. We'd be like, yeah. I would fucking hope. Oh, what was I going to do? Drop into a battle royale with 98 CPUs? What's going on here? Yeah, it's on, obviously it's online. It's 2021, fucker. Uh, but yeah, now Nintendo is finally, finally, after a decade caught on that we enjoy online service. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Playing Hype. a board game online with friends? Save your progress mid-game. That one's weird to me. How does it even work? Save your progress mid-game? Like online? snack? Then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's kind of cool. It's time to party in Mario Party Superstars, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Yeah, that's going to be sick. I'm going to play the hell out of that game. I would love to just do Mario Party against just a bunch of other streamers and shit, because I just, I fucking love Mario Party. It's one of my favorite games, like genres. And if you're OG, you'll know I'm the greatest Mario Party 4 player of all time. You'll just know that. Uh, but that's the uh, announcement I'm most excited about. Also, Super Monkey Ball with a little comeback. This intermission brought to you by DMCA. Hope you guys are having a good day today. The return of the Atrioc 19! Oh, 20! I guess the sequel to the Atrioc 19 would be the Atrioc 20, which makes sense for a 20 year anniversary. Cringe game, really cringe game. <laughs> I like how they know their games are cringe. Because, like, they put, like, look how much airtime they give M Monkey Ball 1 and 2. They laid on thick. Monkey Ball 1. You know, good five seconds. And then the last games are like, you know, don't worry about this one. Don't worry about this. You know, this, hey. We got a little bit crazy on touch and roll. That's our bad. Sorry about Banana Blitz. That was a mistake. I don't know. Step and roll. We were a little drunk. Good game. Yeah, that's just sick. It's just sick that it's remastered. I don't know what the remaster entails necessarily, but that's sick. The weirdest bit is that the monkey jump for a bit? Wait.
I don't know if that's a jump because they don't show how it started. I assume he fell off of something and then bounced, right? But also, maybe he just jumped. And the new monkey balls they have bouncing. Oh, all right. I don't know if I love that, but whatever. Uh, what else was there? I think the only other thing I care about is Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, also WarioWare is super sick. And Metroid, yeah. Peace. Ooh, Breath of the Wild Battle Royale. Kind of hype. Okay. Dude, I feel like this is going to break the game. I feel like this is going to break the game and they're going to figure out how to suck through a wall and just, you know, just destroy the physics engine. The song's in reverse, isn't it? How many theories on YouTube are there? Ganondorf has spun back time with the power of evil. You must reclaim the Triforce Link. Probably some shit like that. Maybe you're supposed to watch the trailer backwards. Is that possible on YouTube? Trailer in reverse. I knew it. Okay, yeah, that doesn't actually make a lot of sense. It made sense for like a few seconds there. For a few seconds there, I was five head. And then it died pretty fucking quick. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, before we do the you lap, you lose, I do want to look at the score esports video uh, called The Story of Ludwig, um, which is dope that I was uh, afforded one of those. Um, real quick couple of clips uh let's see what we got No shot we're already sold out of fat sizes, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we still got the triple X in the blue, at least. Dude, I feel like hey, the only man, reason he sold out is not because, weight, bro. you know, we, every person who watches Tim like is just heavier. Or maybe that's true oh that people, God. you know, 
you know, I don't, this, I, I don't want to, if I speak, I get in trouble. What I tried to say is that 3XL is usually the least stocked size. So oftentimes you'll end up selling out of 3XLs or maybe extra smalls. Because if you have leftover of those, they just never sell. Because like if you're a medium, you'll fuck around and buy a small, maybe a large. Or if you're a large, maybe a medium or an XL. But if you're like a 3XL, you probably don't swing many other sizes. Or an extra small, you probably don't swing many other sizes. You know what I mean? They're too polarizing. Uh, hello? Is this thing on? Yeah. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back, and I came up, and I pulled back, through. Back. I don't fuck with Simply, he's got a stupid hairdo. Some dude bleached his hair in the back of the bathroom. And then he came out, he's like, yo, do I look good, dude? It's like, nah, you look like shit, man, suck my dick. I don't like you, you got four eyes, you looking like shit, yeah. You went to Vegas, and you lost all your guap, but now come through, baby, I go pop, pop, oh, yeah. So Simply's broke now, and he needs some fucking money. So could you pay up and drop a Twitch Prime if you honey? If you feel it's something, I'm out here, I don't know. I'm a long hair rat with a long hair flow. Some say I'm going bald though, but that's alright, I look like Aspen Gold. That's my homie, and they told me that I was told. And I'm not old, I'm pushing 30 now. But fuck it, I'm gonna give this beat to Simply now. I love it. Bars? I was just walking, like at the mall. And this guy comes sprinting up to me, he's like, Those, those, I'm a huge fan. Big fan. I'm a streamer too. You want to play sometime? And then makes me follow them on Twitter. And it's like, I'm not going to say when they're in your face. Kind of weird. And you have your phone out and they have their phone out and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is my, this is my, uh, app. it is a five head strat. Cause you literally have to follow the person if they do that. You know, I'm, I'm a streamer. We can collab sometime. Well, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, I'll follow you. <laughs> no, that was not me. I met Toast and I had a great experience and he did too. You? Me and Toast had a great time. We met each other. God. He was really excited to meet me. Just as excited as I was to meet him. Yeah. I think his uh, Twitch handle was like Ludwig or something. Weird kid. I had a great time in the interaction. <laughs> oh my god. If you don't know, right when I started the subathon, I think maybe one or two days before that, Kano started a uh, world record a thon where he was going to stay live until he got the 16 star world record. And think of how long ago my subathon is now. I mean, that was that was March. And that's when he decided to start it. So I stopped, right? I I ended my subathon. And he went on to do 3,000 hours. For context, a month is 732 hours. That's how long I did. And he did four times that, which is fucking crazy. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never used to cry. <laughs> when I saw people's records. <laughs> this is such a good feeling. No, buddy. I also cried earlier when I watched this clip as a fellow world record holder on par with these two players. Unfortunately, I just don't cry twice. Never cried the same thing is my motto. So I had also cried at this clip being someone who is a world record holder in video games so feel that feel that retweet plus one for me as well very cool pog champ next great job cano
Goku already smarter than want. Dude, this clip's dangerous. This clip will make you want to have a kid. <laughs> she figured the door out, man. She's witness is live. Having a kid is like... It's got to be like 100x the feeling when you're rooting for your, you know, NFL team to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> but instead of needing them to be the best in the world at what they do, you just pop off every single time they figure out how to open a fucking door, <laughs> which is dope because it's so much, you know, it's <laughs> it's so much more sick to uh, to just experience that. It's like guaranteed to happen because your kid will just grow up and pop off and do sick shit instead of being a Buffalo's Bills fan and just being disappointed for life. You just can't be disappointed when you got a kid and they just grow up and they just, you know, they're sick. Unless your kid grows up and then watches Ludwig four hours a day, in which case my, my bad parents, you fucked up somewhere. Maybe I fucked up. Maybe both of us fucked up along the way. The ball was dropped. Maybe the kid was dropped. Maybe that's why they're watching, but. <laughs> All right, boys. Oh, thank you my, uh, for the 34 months cable knit. OG, love the work you put in. Super creative content. Naturally funny. You got it all. Jerma, you're one in a million. <sighs> Call the tour. Thank you for the prime, Dilly boy. Thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay. <sighs> Boys, today we have a pretty insane video to look at. This video was made by the Score Esports. If you've never heard of them, they're basically like the largest esports video producer on YouTube, and they make this video series called The Story Of, featuring huge streamers, and they made one about me. I don't know how I tricked them into that. Probably just having one good month on Twitch will do it, uh, but that's that's it. I have not watched it. It came out just a few days ago, uh, and it has uh, 150K views, and uh, I'm excited to check it out, because I've watched like all these guys' videos I'm pretty sure, let's look at this. I'm pretty sure if you go to XQC's YouTube channel, his most viewed video is him reacting to the Score Esports video. Second most. Yeah. And I remember watching him reacting to this. And then I also remember Tyler1 reacting to the, the story of Tyler1. Uh, but I've, I've seen like, all these. So I'm curious. I'm curious um, on what they did because they did interview me for this. And uh, I don't I don't know. I have not watched it yet. I don't know if it's bo mostly focused on the subathon. The title, I will say, <laughs> a little bit slanderous from unemployable to the top of Twitch. All right. First of all, I was not unemployable. OK, I got employed. I then got fired. I would not call that unemployable. I would call that very employable. I was quite employable indeed. I got employed many times. It just happened that I was also fireable. I would argue that I was the most employable and fireable, which is different than being unemployable. All right? It's more like being picked to join the kickball team and then kicked off for being bad as opposed to not getting picked at all, which hurts way more. Trust me, I would know. Anyway, let's take a look at the video. And see. Boys, today I have left my job and I will now be streaming full time on twitch.tv forward slash Ludwig Ogren. Welcome to the game, boys. Oh my god, Ludwig and chat. How are there that many G's in a name? There are. I grind to get there, man. I grind for these views. Dumb rich. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I was obviously saying that ironically. I've never ever said I grind for these views like genuinely ever i'm the most you know i'm the last guy to ever be like i'm grinding for this bro 
honestly, we nine and nine in this bitch. It's Monday to Monday. I haven't taken a day off. I fought for this. You know what I mean? I'm out here trying to be something. I, I, I'm inspired to. I'm not like on this Kanye. <laughs> I'm just an idiot who posted shit and got pretty lucky. But all right, all right. Children. That's how slime words it. He's right. Every streamer is a dumb, rich baby child. God damn. And I'm one of them. We are going to be doing our first ever uncapped and last. subathon. And when I say uncapped, I mean if this bitch goes 48 fucking hours, I will be live for 48. That was Aiden. Hours. <laughs> this Sunday we will start, and I have no clue when we will end. Boys, today we are doing you laugh, you lose. The loser gets a tattoo on their ass. It's because they laugh. Super go. How many times do I have to ask? Put me in my own fucking lobby. He screwed me. This is the impossible meat. It kind of looks like roast beef. All right. Good luck, bud. The tushy shot. Ah. There it is. This is the new record on Twitch for most subscribers all time. Welcome to the fastest growing Twitch stream on Twitch.tv, baby. Dude, I, look, I don't like being cocky, but let me tell you, I kind of called that. That's from 2018. I, that was a bit of a call there. That's a deep cut. All right. I got. Look, I'm lucky that I banked it. I'm just saying I called it. Now, I didn't follow up with I would lose the most subscribers that any human has ever lost ever in the history of Twitch. But, you know, if you get the first part right, that's pretty good. You know, you don't got you don't got the you don't got to get the whole thing. I'm not uh, Nostradamus. All right. A vast majority of streamers out there have one thing in common. They are unknown. Only a select. <laughs> Damn, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. So they got to go to like a streamers anonymous club. Yeah, I went live today and uh, I did the thing where I looked over at my chat, but no one knew had typed a message. And then my one viewer noticed and said Omega lol and then didn't type for the rest of the day. Um pretty tough thanks for sharing jeff <laughs> few ever make it big and they all go about it differently some are unapologetically loud i would say most others of the top are quiet in a way that fills up the room what up corpse what up baby <laughs> <laughs> So Dude, I, I'll stop pausing so much, but I did see on Twitter it was like some, it was like a, it was like a twenty-five-year-old, thirty-year-old woman, and I'm not trying to roast her, but she had a link to a bunch of phone like notifications, and one of them was just Corp saying "What up, Daddy," and I was like, "Damn, he, it, it's really he got it easy sometimes. He just says "What up, Daddy," and he's got people making phone ringtones. <laughs> that's that's a that's something." Some will make you laugh. This is fun. Oh no. <laughs> what is that? Why? <laughs> Why have you done this? Others will make you cry. Uh, last year, my dad passed away from cancer, and that whole year or six months, I was taking care of him by myself. It was the hardest time of my life, and um, you guys really like stuck around and helped me through that. A few will try to help you understand the world around you a little better. A liar. Pokemon. Okay, flattering that they call GeoWizard a streamer, but that guy has gone live twice and I think spent about 45 of his hour-long stream trying to figure out how to get his mic to work. <laughs> Love GeoWizard, though. Everyone should watch him. <laughs> One of my favorite YouTubers. This movie, I mean, it's a direct rip of Pocahontas. James Cameron's avatar is literally Pocahontas, but with aliens. But no matter how they do it, most truly successful streamers are genuinely having a good time. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they got Mego involved. Sometimes it can be hard to quantify what exactly makes someone popular online. 
But it's, dude, try to explain to an adult why XQC holds a hundred thousand viewers is the hardest and worst conversation you can have. <laughs> it's just, it's not even worth attempting. It's just, it's, there, you, you can't even find the words. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. It's just impossible to describe it. But in the case of Ludwig Ogren, it's pretty easy. He's charming, well-spoken, confident, and recently broke the record for the most subs on Twitch. I guess, yeah. There it is! You were here. Your words. This is Not the mine. new record on Twitch for most subscribers all time. Holy Dude, that shit, that was insane. Ludwig grew up in Hollis, New Hampshire, graduating <laughs> from a local high school in 2013. Holy shit, that's my fucking high school. Yeah, it's pretty much the same now. Anyway, there it is. On If, uh, if you look up the, my high school on Wikipedia, there's only two famous alumni. It's me and another dude who has like a fucking Emmy. Uh, and he produces like, you know, Survivor and shit. He's like 40. <laughs> It was around this time Docs? that... No, guys, my name is Ludwig Ogren. It's not a fake name. It's not Docs. It's just uh, I put myself out there. Maybe not smartly, but I, I chose to, and, and that's my life. Graduating from a local high school in 2013. It was around this time that he discovered his passion for video games, specifically Call of Duty. <laughs> if you could see my face when I actually accomplished this challenge of only turning right, it, it was like pooping and um, having an orgasm at the same time. That's the only words I can use to describe it. And the feeling was even better than that. After I'd barely kissed a girl at that age. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Moving to Arizona to attend Arizona State University, Ludwig got into Super Smash Bros. Melee, a scene he would continue to be involved in for years to come. Fuck them Every up. single person I live with, I, I met through Smash. My streaming career started from Smash. And uh, so it's just like a community that, that, that spawned me, I guess, you know? Outside of gaming, Ludwig also tried his hand at stand-up comedy at Tempe Late Night Comedy Club. Tempe, we'll let it slide, we'll let it slide. Where he sharpened his performance skills for his dream job of being a talk show host. It's also what gave me the legs to feel confident enough to stream. There's a big difference between bombing on stage doing stand-up comedy and feeling, like literally feeling the people's silence when you expect laughter and then like streaming on Twitch and then like you drop a joke and no one really loves W's. Because you guys leave. And I don't know when you leave, which is cool. Ludwig graduated <laughs> from Arizona State with a double major in English Lit and Journalism Dude, and Mass Communication in 2017. None of these fuckers on Twitch.tv got my two degrees. These broke-ass one-degree losers, all right? These fucking L nerds can't even pull one degree half the time. Me over here with two? Yeah, uh, no shit, I'm up at the top. Uh, yeah, baby. It was. I know it's technically not a science degree, and it's probably worth three arts degrees, but, you know, just ignore me for now, STEM majors. Just please don't brag about your stupid 100K out of college a year job. It's that same year that he saw some limited success competing in melee tournaments, taking sets off players like Chillin' Dude and Vro. But when it came down to it, Ludwig did a lot more damage as a commentator than as a player. I could have gone pro in Smash. If you gave me 10 years and everybody else froze in time for a while. <laughs> Is it Naruto? How do I say it? So, so I don't get roasted. That's not Cap. It, you, it started out Cap. It started out like, oh, this is Cap. And then it's like, wait, no, yeah, that's pretty fair. <laughs> 10 years? That's pretty fair. I'll take that. Naruto. Naruto. I think some people say Naruto. I say Naruto. But I just say, I just say Naruto. He even put together his own net play tournament initially called the Ludwig Ogren Championship Series, mm -hmm. an event that has undergone a few name changes since its launch, but has consistently drawn big names like Esfat, Mango, and Zane to participate. <laughs> yeah, let's get Esfat in there. Hey, way to get Esfat involved. Mango, Zane, number one, number two in the world, and Esfat. Yeah, throw it. I love Esfat. A little Esfat love, never hate that. While commentating a Smash tournament in California, Ludwig met his veritable partner in crime and eventual roommate.
Slime, who invited Ludwig to be part of his podcast, Bad Melee. I like to commentate because I just like talking and I have Asperger's or, you know, like I just, I just like speaking and (laughs) dipping his toes into the world of competitive smash and podcasting made Ludwig realize that maybe being a talk show host wasn't what he actually wanted to do. And so during this time, I'm trying to think what is the quickest way to earn money? And obviously my mind went to, oh, I'm a young boy. I got a lot of free time to my spe- myself. Why'd they blur out chat? I've been honing my skills. I got a couple swimmers. How about I try the wonderful world of sperm donation? Oh, because you guys are talking about Then cum. again, there was also <laughs> streaming. They were scared they'd get demonetized because of cum. Something Ludwig had wanted to get serious about for a long time. Of course, it's a lot easier to get the ball rolling when you're close to all the action. And so Ludwig applied to jobs in both New York and Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And when he got a call back for a web editor gig in LA, he packed up his stuff and moved across the country to pursue his dreams. It was with a rental car, Toyota Camry, but yeah. Unfortunately, just as he was starting to get used to his new life, Ludwig got fired. In the HR later, they're just staring at me. There's no easy way to say this, but we're letting you go. I was like, what the f***? <laughs> Bitch, I moved to LA for this job. I don't have anything. <laughs> and this wouldn't even be the last time. Throughout okay. his time in LA, pretty much every job Ludwig had right. ended with him getting... What the- is this? I got let go. I, I was literally working part time. I got let go from a couple of jobs and all of a sudden it's the fucking GTA wasted sound effect. Over and over, I can't let go from a couple of jobs. Sorry, sorry, employment wasn't exactly ripe for fresh graduates with an English degree, okay? It's how it fucking works, god damn it. Uh, Marketing at a vape company while working uh, as a streamer. And I was like, oh, I'll keep doing this until I have $10,000 in my savings account. And then I got let go at 7K. So <laughs> it hasn't been really much of a choice. Right, I'm just not the best worker, I guess. <laughs> and I didn't realize that until I got fired five times. But Ludwig took his professional mission. That company went under, okay? I was a great employee. And then they rejected my one plan. And then I started just looking up Twitch streams all day to try to get better. But that, you know what? what, what Haps, as a sign to focus on what was truly important to him. He'd been making some modest strides on Twitch, and so in February 2019, he decided it was time to wholly devote himself to his streaming career. And I will now be streaming full time on twitch.tv forward slash Ludwig Algren. <laughs> Welcome to the fastest growing Twitch stream Dude. on twitch.tv, baby. Dude, I got a tattoo for 1,000 viewers. Do you see that in the bottom left? I got a tattoo for a thousand subs, I should say. One thousand subs. A tattoo on stream. One thousand subs. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's absurd. I would never do that now. <laughs> it's such a such a small that's not even that's like you can barely live off of that. Like a thousand subs a month? That's like twenty five hundred before taxes. That's like 30k a year before taxes in Los Angeles. Like that's that's terrible. That's that that barely pays rent, bro. After taxes, that barely pays rent. <laughs> I was out here getting tattooed for minimum wage. That's that's absurd. Oh my god. That's $5,000 a month? No. No it's not. No, it's half of that. Twitch takes half, bro. That was $2,500. And then like 20% was eaten up because I was like a contracted employee. So I had to save it all and pay it because they they didn't even eat it out of my paychecks. (laughs) And then rent was, uh, I think, uh, (laughs) $1,000. So this ain't exactly like I'm living good, my man. I'm living though. Wasn't entirely accurate. Ludwig's last gig was one of the jobs he got let go from, but he had his reasons for padding the truth. And I didn't want it to seem like I was going full time only because I got fired. 
and I didn't want people to pity me, or I didn't want it to oh, overshadow yeah, the I idea lied. that going full time was something I actually had wanted to do, which is true. I did want to go full time, and that was it. I just finally had the balls to do it. I just fucking lied to chat. I just told them I quit to go full time. I fucking lied. I got let go, but I didn't want them to be like. I didn't want people in chat to be like, bro, are you sure? Like, you could just look for another job. <laughs> so I fucking lied. I was like, yep. <sighs> I left my job. I quit it. And I'm trying to do this full time now. Because then I thought it'd be more of a celebration. If, if, I, if I say I got fired and I guess I'll go full time, it's not as hype as if I quit on my own terms. So I just lied about it. I don't lie a lot to chat, but that was one of the times I lied. And I don't regret it. That was a good lie. And anytime I do lie, I usually come forward later. Fortunately, Ludwig not... And that was it. I just finally had the balls to do it. Fortunately, Ludwig not only had the balls, but also the face that instantly put him ahead of the pack. And before long, <laughs> people began to take notice. <laughs> I watch Twitch like this, right? Like, I'll be watching a stream, I'll tune in for like a couple seconds, I'll have them say my name, and then I'll like slowly get a boner from every streamer saying my name. And once they say my name, I don't give a shit about anything they're doing anymore, and I move on. Ludwig's stream didn't exactly <laughs> hit the ground running right off the bat. Okay, dude. It was doing pretty fucking good. It's just that the bar graph gets flattened because of the large viewership I have now. All right, views were increasing. You don't got to dog me. <laughs> it was going up. It just looks worse now because I'm getting like 10, 20K. <laughs> but in the next few months, it picked up more and more viewers, thanks in large part to his willingness to try anything once. He's so happy over there. He's so happy. So, <laughs> All right, good luck, bud. I was supposed to shoot him 20 times, and then the third shot, he was like, I'm out. <laughs> it was supposed to be 20. I was supposed to riddle that dude with bullets. Ah! 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 What the f*** is going on? That's how you do it. Let's go, blah. For a thousand, <laughs> it's a big one. From the hit song Mia Khalifa, the song goes, You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't kiss ya. He go <laughs> find another girl and he won't blank ya. <laughs> smells like shit. Beyond just embracing the weird shit his audience craved, Ludwig did something else. Something that set him apart from every other streamer, raging and screaming and just chatting. He put in the work to make sure that the bits skits and weird challenges were as polished as possible and it set him apart from his peers lud would always go the extra mile for his audience and as the quality improved I'll take his that. dream of becoming a talk show mm -hmm. host was actually coming to life keep saying that just on twitch and when the global pandemic hit in 2020 forcing everyone to try and fill the entertainment void in their lives ludwig was right there to pick up the slack he is the greatest Pokemon player of all time. I, I am in disbelief. If he gets the burn here, oh, he deserves oh. 100 gifted subs. Oh! No! No way! Who's gonna be Mr. 500K? There it is! Now I can be true with my furry self. Sniffs rough rough. What's your fursona? <laughs> On the day I hit 500K, you do this to me? He said he doesn't have time to teach me. He said Ludwig. Okay, uh, teach Ludwig? Well, I could teach Ludwig. Uh, uh, well, uh, what, what's XQC up to? In this clip. <laughs> Apparently, my viewer count Who too low. Who gave him the Latvian Gambit advice? So his one piece of advice hey, Carl, you look was so the shocked. Latvian Gambit. But now what do I do? Now what the f*** am I supposed to do, Hikaru? I don't give a f*** if Gordon Ramsay throws up watching this. I will be cooking steak to the best of my dumbass ability. See, mm. if I was like, like cultured, I would know where I am, <laughs> but I'm not, so I don't. <gasps> Mario! But there's only so much entertaining anyone can do without feeling burnout starting to creep in, and Ludwig was no exception. After nearly three years of streaming, he was ready for a break. 
On February 16th, Ludwig announced he'd be taking a hiatus from Twitch and YouTube to visit friends and family in his native New Hampshire next month. Guys, I'm going on break. I'm leaving. I'm out. Pack the bags. Dip it. It was real. It was fun. Wasn't real fun. Time for me to go. Bon voyage. Other phrases that mean goodbye. Sayonara. I think it's Japanese. But it wasn't the relaxing holiday Ludwig had hoped for. On March 4th, he had to undergo an emergency <laughs> appendix surgery. But I, don't, I guess appendicitis is like a really big deal. I guess, apparently, if your appendix bursts and you don't get rid of it quick enough, you can die or something. I don't know. I don't know what people did like 300 years ago. Did they just die? Is that what happened? They would just die because yeah. of their appendix. I guess. I don't know. That's I, crazy. Apparently. Shout out to they just modern died. medicine. I was born in the right era. About a week after his surgery, Ludwig returned to L.A., and to streaming full time. But it wasn't going to be business as usual. He had something different in mind for his comeback. We are going to be doing our first ever uncapped subathon. And when I say uncapped, I mean if this bitch goes 48 f***ing hours, I will be live for 48 f***ing hours. Oh, I didn't lie. 72, the next one after that, when you add 24 hours for another day? <laughs> All of it! This Sunday we will start, and I have no clue when we will end. What Ludwig didn't realize was that 72 hours wasn't going to cut it, since the amount of time he'd have to spend on stream would increase by 10 seconds with every new sub he got. And his viewers were determined to make Ludwig keep at it as long as possible. So I thought it'd go a day or two, uh, and then like three, four days in, I was like, oh shit, this might go longer than I thought. I don't have a boyfriend. You do? Twitch.tv has a boyfriend. Just for a few days. <laughs> That's what you said four days ago. Consider it a work trip. <laughs> this is the worst work trip. Stop subscribing, you monsters. The uncapped subathon started on- I, I, I don't think I've talked about this a lot, but Cutie called it. After like day one, she was like, this is going to go forever. And I was like, nah, it'll be a week. And then a week could pass and she'd be like, this is going to go the whole entire length if you don't stop it. And I was like, two weeks max. Then two weeks would go and she'd be like, it's literally going to go forever. It's just never going to end. And I was like, we hit like five seconds a day. You're out of pocket. <laughs> and I was just wrong every time. Mark. Subscribing, you monsters. The uncapped subathon started on March 14th and kept Ludwig on air for an entire month, the max amount of time he was willing to keep going. To everyone who keeps subbing and gifting the moment it hits one, I want you guys to know there's actually no way for it to go under one. The way we have the timer set up. Because it's a one, it's like a, it's, the timer's like made of one piece. And, uh, <laughs> And there's no way for it to go under. <laughs> it's called One Piece Rule 34 if you Why look it up. Why would they put this in? <laughs> What's up? Why would they put that in? They just chibated more people. That's crazy. What a crazy one to put in. What are you, what are you doing? For the record, guys, romance is dead. <laughs> no, like, fall, like, what'd you have for breakfast today? Oh, I didn't. Could I have some of this dick? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've gifted 5,079 subs to Mango. Thanks. Wow, Lud. One, eh? That's all you got for your boy? <laughs> subs? You're no better than Ninja, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> you and Ninja. Ninja got 269k subs, and then he unsubscribed to me. <laughs> so f both of you. When the cameras finally turned off on April 14th, after broadcasting Ludwig's life to his viewers for a whopping 700 hours, he had beaten the record previously held by Ninja for the most sub to Twitch streamer. Okay. Yo, 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 what's going on? Uh, I don't know if you heard. I just broke your record. The f what you say to me, you little shit? <laughs> I, I just, I just, <laughs> I just broke your, <laughs> I, no, I, I'm just saying I broke your record, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm big time. It's not like I'm I think that's the first time I've Leonardo ever DiCaprio. seen the clip I'm of him. I'm just saying that visually. I just broke the record. I'm Tell just... my brother, Leonardo, you're trash, kid. Okay. I don't even know the peak number of subs I had off the top of my head. 
So uh, it wasn't that impactful. I think the entire journey was just what was so overwhelming. Twenty-three. Uh, just streaming my life for a month and how much oh, support I had. And I happened to get a record, which I'll boast about until the day I die, even if someone takes it. But it, it wasn't like, I don't think it hits you in any way. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But most people would argue that having nearly 270,000 Twitch subs to your name was a huge deal. And the hype didn't end with the subathon. Ludwig continues to hold the record for most sub to Twitch streamer while having one of the most active sub counts on the platform right now. <laughs> Why you gotta show it all? You don't gotta do the scroll. I mean, I'm in the top 10. You did a scroll like you had to go down like 18 fucking pages. This dude did a scroll like like his finger got exhausted halfway through. I mean, we, we're we number eight. This isn't crazy far off. You <laughs> He did like a giant, he whipped it down. Twitch streamer. He while whipped having it. One of the I'm, I'm two away. I'm two away from the top. It just, it's it's a little one. The most and he did a, he put motion blur on it. Active sub counts on the platform right now. His fellow streamers reactions ranged from mildly supportive to downright insulting. What I told Stans, I remember vividly telling Stans, was like, bro. <laughs> Both of us make like 10x what Ludwig makes right now. I'm pretty sure very soon, not only will he make more than us, he'll make more than us combined. I remember saying that. And that was back when he had like no viewers. But I think it's kind of cool to talk about because I think Ninja did it the old stream way where like Ninja just played games 12 hours a day. It's Whereas true. like Lud did like all kinds of different content. So it's kind of cool. Like the number one and two is like, Ninja did it the old school Twitch way, and Lud did it the new school Twitch way. And if we'll come along, it will say, yeah, like, like the Lud would take it. Is it will call oh, on it's not about being the first, but doing it better. Call you a terrible person for weeks on end. Okay, so what are you gonna do when you're at the top then? You're just gonna wait every time, and you're just gonna not innovate, you just on chill until Wendy's all the people that, that try with. things do it, it's and then you just copy them and do it better? Come on, man, don't be like that. But no matter what- I had a hard time understanding what the point of that was. I don't know if he was insulting me or insult uh, or complimenting me still. <laughs> I just can't tell. I don't it was I think it was I think it was a I think it was a compliment. But I can't tell. Is he saying that it doesn't matter is he saying that it doesn't matter if you are the first one there? It just matters if you get there. Eh, whatever. I like X. <laughs> what anyone had to say, the subathon made Ludwig a bunch of money, a sizable portion of which he donated to charity. It earned him the devotion of hordes of new fans and cemented his place among streaming's elite. I'm very cognizant that if I have 20,000 people watching me, you know, a minute of stream time is 20,000 minutes total of like human time, which is like so much, so much. So I, I really don't want to waste people's time um, because I'm taking up so much of it. And with time becoming a very real tradable resource online, other notable Twitch personalities have expressed an interest in trying to one up Ludwig by running their own subathons. But he insists it's not about the numbers. Here's the thing about subs. I got them. It doesn't give you happiness. I would try something else. Records <laughs> don't get you happiness, so we should just leave this record for eternity. Whatever happens with <laughs> his record. I talking out of my ass. So, X, do you see what didn't take my fucking record? I, I just said that because I was hoping that no one would go to beat my record. <laughs> but I do mean that. I do mean that genuinely. After hindsight, a few months, they always say it's 2020. I can say safely that this record, this money, this attention, it, it means nothing. What means the most is staying exactly where you are and not changing. <laughs> like if you're at 80, stay there. Cause that, that shows something, you know, consistency. Going forward, it's undeniable that Ludwig has set a new benchmark for the rest of the streaming community. He emerged from the primordial ooze of early Twitch as part of a new breed of entertainers. One that sees streaming as a legitimate calling, worthy of as much dedication as any so-called real job out there. I think being successful at streaming is preparing yourself 
uh, the best way possible for when luck hits to be ready and to be sick. Because uh, it can strike at any time, and if you're not ready, that might be your only chance. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, Chill. hit the sub button and ring that notification that bell. The bars there. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. That was a good video. It was turt to the point. Got everything out there. Oh, that was fire. Good job to the score esports. I love the the my god, Josh. Josh Barry's voice. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He he always does these uh these narrations. I'm just I'm a I'm a simp for Josh's buttery voice. Do you mean terse? No, I mean turt, like short. It was turt. Terse. 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 All right, well, how many fucking degrees do you have, okay? Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, is it Kurt? I combined Kurt and terse, but Kurt means rudely brief. So when you get an English degree, you actually unlock uh, combining words. It's like a new ability, basically. It's kind of like a time skip in a way, and you're able to just combine them. And it's like chill. So turt is curt and terse combined into one word. But honestly, if you're not an English major, you wouldn't get it. If I can get an amen for my fellow English majors in chat, would appreciate that because you guys are on my side, obviously, because you get it. The other ones don't know. Just drop a cringe for yourself because that's what you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, but that was good. That was good. Uh, shout out to Alina who uh, wrote it and um, interviewed me and uh, followed up because I super donut walled <laughs> for a while and then finally replied. Uh, I wish I had done my hair better, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, but that was great. That was great. I'm, I'm flattered that I am a uh, considered a big enough streamer that they've made this of me because that's 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 awesome because I've watched this. XQCs and I watched Shroud's old one and I watched um, you know everybody's uh, <laughs> video uh, these people are like you know outside of esports players I feel like they always pick you know like uh, some really big streamers so super sick that I was able to get on here uh, that's awesome and I'm pretty sure they're melee simps as well so anyone who's a melee simp is good in my book um, but yeah, what I said was bars, by the way, uh, there is, and maybe I'll do, there's probably a sick video on this that I could react to. Uh, but a lot of people after they are successful think, you know, about the hard work they've put in and all that, which is. Uh, a video I remember watching. During the COVID lockdown, this headline went viral. For Veritasium, uh, which talks about survivorship bias and all about how people, you know, because they were able to make it, just think that it was like hard work and don't really think about all the luck that was required. Um, and this video is great. This video talks about it uh, from Veritasium. If you haven't watched it, it's super worth a watch. Maybe we'll react to it. I could react to it. I don't want to fly too far from the plan. You're right. But it is a good video to watch. Because um, that's that's true. We'll just watch it now. <laughs> During the COVID lockdown, this headline went viral. Nearly half of men say they do most of the homeschooling. I think I've already watched this on stream, actually. 3% of women agree. 
I bring this up. Uh, not I watch it during the subathon. Yeah. People think they do more of the work, but they also think they cause more of the problems. Right. This is where I called Cutie. Remember, I called Cutie on the phone, and I asked her a question, and she said, "Do you need toilet paper?" That was this video. So why is this? I think it's simply because you experience and remember vividly all of what you do, but not all of what everyone else does. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, yeah, we already watched it then, so I won't watch it again. But that is the video, uh, if you guys um, care at all or want to see that. Uh, but yeah, super sweet video from the Score Esports. Check out the original uh, as well. And if you guys aren't on YouTube, uh, do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turns out that 35% of the people who watch my videos aren't subbed. And I actually just got the lowest amount of subs in a day ever last week. <laughs> Uh, since 2019, literally all of 2020, I got at least 1000 subs every day. And last week I got 700 subs. Um, so subscribe, please. And we got to do a, you laugh, you lose boys with a shock collar. Not what it, it's not what it looks like. Shot collar time, everybody. I think it's why is it not it's not like oh it's on backwards hex kong thank you the five gifted and the resub appreciate that is this tos friendly i don't know it doesn't hurt me so it'd be weird if they banned me all I request is that if Twitch wants to ban me because they think I'm harming myself, to buy the collar and try it on themselves. Because banning because they think I'm hurting myself seems inappropriate. So I just require one Twitch employee to try this on themselves before banning me. Because I've used it a couple times and I don't think it hurts. But if they ban me for harming myself and I don't think I'm hurting myself and they don't know, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Not near the neck. I'm just tightening it a bit. Uh, all right. I got to pee real quick. I'll be right back and we'll do the shot collar. Hold up. A quick picture for Twitter.com so I can, if people want to watch this, they can, they can smile face for Twitter boys. Uh, all right. Oh, God, I shouldn't be too loud with this on. All right, I tightened it enough. I'll take it off for now. <laughs> uh, I am going to pee, then I'll be back, and then we're doing the U-Lap, you lose with the shot collar. Sound good? Sound good. B-R-B.
All right. Got my secret today. Let's go. Told you I wouldn't scam you. Why would you do this? Uh, I don't know. I think it'll be kind of funny. <laughs> that is about the entirety of my reasoning. This one we're doing without slime. We're just going to do this with unusual memes right now. And, uh, and see how it goes. Uh, and then if it goes good, we'll do it with slime under. Does that sound good? Does that make a sense? No slime just explained why. Uh, okay. We need to make right now. It's off right now. It's off. I'm going to turn it on in a second and we're going to, we're going to get this ball rolling. A little loud. Boys! Today, oh, we're going to be using a shock collar on a little you laugh, you lose. The problem is, if I'm a little, <clears throat> should I say, the plan I'm too scared. I'm too scared already. The plan! Hello? Boys! Wait, is this the right one? Wait, this is the wrong collar. I put on the collar that hurts a lot. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. <clears throat> yep. Uh, quick problem, quick problem. That is the wrong collar. The wrong collar. That would have been a really big problem had I gone um, any further with that one. Uh, no, no. We are not using Mr. Orange. No shot. I think that one's this one. This is 99. Oh my god, I put 99 on my neck. Okay, all right, we'll 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 deal with that. We'll put that away. Woo! Okay, all right. Good, good, good thing I didn't. Hey, I found the remote to my car's bed. Uh, oh, dude, where did I put it? All right, one second. I just got to find it. I think I might have brought it upstairs. I'll get right back.
show it to Aiden, by the way. Just so to show it to Aiden. Found it. <sighs> I mean, shit, fair and valid. I had 20,000 average viewers and about a million subs on YouTube, but. Now I, I got 18K. So the subathon did change a bit. Where was it? I don't want to tell you because you guys are going to make fun of me. I just happened to have placed it on my bedside just purely because I needed to put it somewhere because I was showing people and then we had cleaned the room. It is not, I'm clarifying, it is nothing to do with a kink thing. Very clear about that. Very clear. It just happened to be there. Okay. All right. Now I'm scared. So. Boys! It's going to be a long stream. Okay. Today, the plan is simple. On me, I have a sound activated shock collar set to the highest setting. So if I'm a little bit too loud, it will set off. And we're going to look at some unusual memes videos. And if my shock collar gets set off for any video, then I will keep laughing so that I get shocked. Does that make sense? Because the way it works is you have to not only... Yo, set it off. We have to keep going, keep barking for it to actually do the static. Yeah. Ah! And then the vibration goes off after 
or excuse me, the static goes off after the beeps, after the vibration. But if you stop talking, then it won't do it. So what I need to do is every time I laugh, I'll keep making noise. That way it sets off. It'll be my punishment. Uh, I am only willing to watch two unusual memes videos today. Uh, I'm not brave enough to add in a third or a fourth because I'm not trying to get shocked too much here. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see just how many times uh, I end up laughing. Um, okay. There it is. That's that's the entire video. That's what we're doing today. Hey, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, do me a favor. P please subscribe. Please just scroll down. Click the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Means a lot. Helps me out. Allows me to, um, I guess, make peace with the fact that I'm willing to take anxious, anxiety inducing shocks for content. And Twitch chat just says, put it on your nuts. Okay, very, very cool chat. All right, unusual memes. If I laugh, I get shocked. <sighs> Wait, it's way too quiet. Still just a little bit quiet. I'm going to turn it up a bit. It's an accident, whatever. This remote has a full keyboard on the back. We're trying to look up Animal Crossing and uh, go ahead and hit the space bar. <laughs> it just typed space bar! Why does it type space bar? Wait, no, wait, no, I, I, I just, I just chuckled to myself quietly. The, the alarm has to go off. No, no, I, it was, it was because I was just anxious. I was just anxious. So I made a noise. Sometimes you're anxious and to make, no, no, it does not count if you make a noise because you're anxious. That's not, I wouldn't laugh from the meme. I didn't laugh from him sitting there with a the guitar I've, I can't stop smiling because I'm so stressed. All right. <laughs> no, Rod. <laughs> 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 Those things are so yummy. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I keep forgetting the challenge. 
I'm just focusing on not making noise. I can't. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. That I'll count that one. I'll count that one. That counts as just one. That's just one that that counts as. Just to be clear, that's only one. All right. <laughs> I was too scared. I was too scared, so I didn't let it go off. Just one. That's just one. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want it to go off because I'm laughing still. Okay. <sighs> you pigs are so smart. I wouldn't know if we, I don't know if we count that one, guys. It was more of like it was a it was a snicker. It's it's it is similar. Mm, mm, I would agree. I would actually be on your side. Even it is similar. However, if it qualifies as a laugh, un, unsure at the moment. Unsure, perhaps yes, perhaps it's fair that maybe a two snickers would be one laugh. Maybe three, maybe seven. You know, we could we could come to an. <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. <sighs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we Oh, the twilight's last gleaming. <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh, God. I didn't deserve two. Back to the video. <laughs> oh, I think you might have swallowed it.
Soda, sä haluut kotiin. Herra Elaa! Sinne meni! Arvaa mitä? Ei töitä! Ei perse! Tässä on mitä? The little things in life get you through it. Are we in 1080p? Those seven pixels. Oh my God. Elden Ring. Yo. <laughs> Shower time. It's an absurd way to eat a corn dog. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give it to you guys because I secretly snickered at one of the videos, but my mic is so good that it didn't pick it up and chat didn't see anything. <laughs> so I'll give you this one because technically I, I got away with one. I scammed one. I don't feel too bad. All right. Okay. Boys, today, the plan is simple. It didn't go off. That's more stressful than if it goes off. It didn't even go off. Okay. This is my impression of a lawnmower. Ring, ding, 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 ring, ding, ding, ding. Ring the ling ding 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 ding. It's not going off. I'm a big lawnmower. John Deere in this bitch. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna switch, oh my god! Just to be clear, the marks are from the uh, prongs, not from the shock. Just to be clear, <laughs> that is an insane mark though. Holy fuck. All right, all right. Oh, I love that noise. <laughs> oh my, is it dead? What the? Three's not bad. I feel good getting away with three. I feel pretty good about that. Should have been four. Scammer scams. What do you want from me? All right. One more video. Just one more. Just one more video, and then I'm done with this. 
I I can't I can't do this for more than fifteen minutes. I'll, I'm gonna get an aneurysm. Let let us show you how you do it. Get on there, get on there, Nick Nicole, and show how to do it. Yeah, go ahead and take off. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Ay, qué bonito bebé. Tingi 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 tingi. That would be my bad. That would be. No, that did not. All right, I guess it counted. <laughs> I can't put it on yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just my <laughs> I had laughed so long that it re-triggered it. And so I was scared I was gonna get double shocked. Oh god. <laughs> Come on, Maggie. Come on. <laughs> Which one do I pour this shit into? This one? Liquid this only. One? Oh. You could eat. It's my impression of a French person laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating like profusely from just the fucking stress. No, I forgot. I forgot about the challenge. The cat took me off guard. I, it was just a cute cat, so I... It's not a... It is not a kink thing. No, it is just funny.
to get shocked, okay? Just to clarify, I want to be very clear, this is not... Yo! 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, make an eye joke. That is not plus one. I made no noise. Josh, open it. I'm oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, Little oh, guy. That was good. I was guffawed. Yo, Aiden. Amen. This one's gone, though. I need somebody to take one for me. Yo! Hello. Hey, are you, uh, you home right now? Yeah. Did you come down for a bit? Yeah. Cool. I'm just going to I'm going to pawn off one of my laughs. I'm just going to pawn off one. Just give him one. Just give one to Unky Slime. I've taken like fucking 6 to the dome. All right? Unky Slime can take one from me, okay? All right, One Piece style, he, Rora Nora Zoro, me, Captain D. Luffy, obviously. 
Just take one. <clears throat> Time for business. All right, no narcs. Gonna wait for him to come down. In the meantime, chat, if you guys haven't already, do me a quick favor. Double check to see if you have a Twitch Prime available. You could have one available right now and not even know it. All you gotta do is click on the subscribe button. And see if it says subscribe free in purple. It's literally two clicks. All you have to do is open up your favorite Twitch streamer. For me, there's nobody I like more than Charlie. Click subscribe. See if it says subscribe free. Although, I need to go to someone I'm not sub to to see. Right here. Mine's available June 30th. Yours might be available right now. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would use your primes. You don't have to use them on me. I'm literally 0% offended. It's just actually brain dead. Stupid, stupid to not use your prime at all. So if you got one, use it right away because you gain no value if you don't. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you use it on me. It's, uh, it's really nice. It means a lot. Use it on whoever you want. Yeah, you can use it on Azan. I'm just not sub to Azan, but... I, I like Hassan. It doesn't mean I'm just because I'm not sub to him. Slime Under! Come sit, come sit in this chair real quick. Come sit in daddy's chair. Uh, and we're going to talk for a bit. Okay. It's good. What is what's going on? Now we 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 discussed uh, me and you ab about uh, this idea of doing a uh, a you laugh you get shocked right mm -hmm. but but here's the thing about it slime you you don't you don't know what it's like that's true and I have practiced so much so I thought it might be worthwhile to give you a little test run is. Is the music from the Saw movies DMCA? You can look it up. Is that Eamon? Come in, Eamon. Why'd you call me? Uh, to get shocked by a dog collar if you want. Oh, fuck. You want to take one? Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. Hey! All right, how do you tell? Put on a sweatshirt you get me. Right, well, am I allowed to be sure this one? No, you can, but just... It, it's definitely. It is so. It is so phenomenally DMCA. So I want you guys to pull up the. Do you want like a? Soundtrack. Is it like a scare? Can you play it for five seconds so I know what it sounds like? Yeah. So, it's, it. it's, Control Shift T. No, I don't want to play it because if you can't play it all, then don't play it. All right, then what about just who wants to be a millionaire? Like a little tense. Honestly, silence is best because the silence noise you make. Fine. All right, so the way this works. I ain't afraid. Why are you wearing his sweater? Because I he was shirtless. Oh. Shirtless. So the way it works, slime, is basically uh it's bark activated. Now you you don't bark, but any like hey, hey, hey. You've never heard me bark. Can you let's make that clear. Well, let's let's see it. Bark. Bark for me. And it won't shock you. Dude, it sounds like my head's going to fucking blow up. What it does is it creates a Pavlonian set of commands uh, that will deter you from barking after your original bark. So it'll beep and then it'll vibrate. And it won't shock you unless you continue barking. So when I put this on you, you have to keep barking right. for it to activate. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put this on you. It's best to not have it exactly on the throat. Oh, Better put it on close to my throat then. Just right next to it should be good. 
And then you just you just bark like a big dog. This is scary. Uh, honestly, okay. No, biggest... shut up. I don't want to hear anything that you have to say to me. I want to experience it fresh. So I just keep barking, right? Yeah. Hey, real quick. That's why I'm not scared. All right. Uh, just go for it. Just go for it. Whatever you're. <laughs> oh. <wait. laughs> all right, all right. I I was like, what do I do when it starts going? And I'm just gonna. I'm gonna make it stop barking me. Shocking you? Yeah. It, it, so it's just like it's, it doesn't keep going. It's the moment it shocks, you'll stop, and then it'll just go for two more seconds. You think I'll stop? Well, you think it'll redo the whole beep and vibrate, and then it just oh, stays. Oh, okay. It's not like it just keeps shocking until you stop. Wow. So you didn't get the premium. <laughs> I don't think they have that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Actually, terrible. <sighs> not feel good <laughs> it made you want to stop barking it made me want to stop barking <laughs> it, it made it so i couldn't bark <laughs> yeah i didn't want to keep going yeah, that's terrifying wow <laughs> i feel like if you play that beep now I'm just... <laughs> yeah the, the worst part of this now is because i'm doing like a little like a baby <sighs> tester you laugh you lose with it yeah and the worst part is is like trying to get it to set off yeah, is there a way to bypass the beeping? No, because they don't make it for humans. They make it for dogs. Uh, so for me, <laughs> I just have to sit there and get it to go. Dude. Uh, Amen. It, oh. feels, it feels great. It feels fine. It's, it, it feels really good, actually. It just said it was terrible. I don't mind the feeling of it. It's not a kink of mine, but I don't mind it. <sighs> it's... This is where I draw my line, you know? Hey, man. Maybe this is it. It's either this or you move out tomorrow. <laughs> it, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. It's going to be fine. No, it's going to be fine. Be okay. It's going to be fine. It'll actually be fine. Come on. You can trust me. Do I still have to pay rent this month? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Double if you don't. That right in there. I, I can't believe I should have just gone first. Uh, so all you gotta do is bark and then it'll beep. You gotta keep barking, it'll vibrate. You gotta keep barking, <sighs> then the shock comes. You got this, it'll be fine, dude. It's mostly the anxiety that's the worst part. <laughs> uh, if it makes you feel better, I've taken six today. Oh, six vibrates. Yeah, I could do another one, no problem. Whenever you're ready to wolf, take your time. God, I don't even get the you like. Also... I don't even get the like the sexual satisfaction. You know. That's not true. You well, could, you could come. I would well, wait for it before gotta... you say that. You could come. It's there's no satisfaction for me, but I would wait to make the call. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm trying to think. I I don't know if I can bark. You know. You can just so what I I do is I fake laugh like pretty loudly. Okay. Wait, you can't bark like I just did. Your bark was actually Your really bark is bark pretty good. Yeah, Your I'm a great, is barker. Solid. a great barker. I've always said that. Uh, no, you oh, don't have to bark. Bark, 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 bark. You can. Oh, it doesn't work. I did whoops. I was like, <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. Whoops do it, or uh, Boys the Planet Simple did it. I'm a medium sized dog. Uh, you just gotta. Maybe just fake laugh as loud as you can. <laughs>
pee yourself? <laughs> no, don't like a little bit of urine. Just a know. little bit of urine. There's no cum. <laughs> no cum. How was that? <laughs> it's fucking jarring. It fucking sucks. It's just <laughs> scary, right? It's like it's. I think the anticipation is actually worse than the shock. Way worse. The shock's like not that bad, but the 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 just like beep 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 beep, beep brr, like a storm's coming. I, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> hey. hey, all right. I'm gonna Still, go. I make him. <laughs> right, Catch his whale. Eight hundred dollars in your account on the first. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, right now. <laughs> Don't to like and subscribe. Fuck you guys. Fuck you sickos. <laughs> Fuck you idiots at home no, watching this. Up. We win the saw game. We won. You do get to leave now together. We get to leave changed forever. Uh. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, Ludwig. Well, the good news is I got them to take two of my laughs. So that means I have one laugh on the house. Which is pretty pog. He did steal my sweater, didn't he? <laughs> Counts. Let's just end it there. Let's just end it there. It's a sweet note with all my roommates coming in. You know, how about we just end it there? We're probably just gonna skip this in the YouTube video. It's just gonna cut to the end because I'm not laughing. Yeah. Buddy, buddy, smile. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's too spicy. No. Kind of dripping. Come out here. No. A deer. RIP that weed skittery shots. Holy life fuck, get them on a bail wash, they'll just be covered in shite. Holy fuck, you think a coo shite? Nah, nah, skittery shite straight to that asshole. I think you need to get up to the toilet and just lay at that toilet, fall a shite, and then come back down and sing that song again. That was hard. Bet. Oh, bet. Oh, my God. What? Oh, the actual dead. fuck. <laughs> He's high as fuck, though. Hey! Ah! What are you doing? That'd be so gross out if someone brought a pet raccoon no, into no, a no, grocery no, store. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Boys, thank you for watching. And if you guys aren't, do me a favor. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this, maybe we'll do a You Laugh, You Lose next time with slime. With some really curated funny videos. And a shot caller. Uh, but that's all for now. And I'm just going to turn you off. And uh, just throw it by the door. So I can put it in the closet.
so I do not lose it. <laughs> not a kink, by the way. Actually, though. Actually. Hey! Actually. Actually. Oh. Dude, that was stressful. I didn't enjoy that stress. Uh, okay. Anyway, boys, that was that train. Do not kappa me. If you want to borrow it, though, let me know. I'm happy to offer it. Happy to offer it. Show you the link. Amazonsmile.com. Uh, and now, boys, what time is it? It is 9.16. There's two things I want to do. I want to do Ludlock, but also... Ready, we already watched the Score Esports video just right before this. There's two other things I want to do at some point uh, this week. This one, uh, one of my viewers went absolutely nuts and compiled every single video I have uploaded since I started my upload streak, broke it up into seasons, and then made a graph on what has the highest average views for every single season. And what performed high, what performed low, yada, yada. Which is fucking nuts. It's super sick. Uh, so I want to take a look at this for sure. Um, and then there's also this, which is a uh, who would win in a boxing match. Uh, streamer edition that Fion, the esports writer, made. That you just vote between two people. And then there's some results that you can look at at the end. Uh, so both of these seem pretty dope. I think the electricity is still coursing through my veins. Uh, but I think, what if we look at this graph for a bit and then we hop to the Ludlock. Now, this is not Reddit recap content. This is its own thing. So, basically, here it is. I've broken down all the videos from the 619-day upload streak and divided them into categories and used the current view compare to compare some of the data. There's even more than what I've shown myself if you're interested in more specific detail. Instead of showing how these videos have performed as they came out, which I'm sure no one is familiar, this data is more to see how they've done for the long-term growth and success of the channel. I also took a look at the average uh, of the month around each video and compared them to the videos themselves and averaged each category per season so you can see them rise or fall. Uh, here's what the categories mean. Uh, if the category is called Ludwig, it means it's a unique idea um, or it's just a video with Ludwig talking off the cuff, so a cuff like a, I guess a story time. Uh, Pokemon, which is any video with Pokemon as the focus, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, React, which is uh, videos with just reacting to YouTube. Pretty self-explanatory. TikTok time, that's its own thing. It's still React, but I guess a different uh, category. Variety games uh, is something I've played one off or two off. Amazon shopping streams, unboxing streams are the second part of the Amazon streams. Pokemon boxing, uh, which is card openings, which we've done a few of. Testing food. Uh, taste the difference challenges. It should just called food, but yeah, I guess basically all the Slim Jim sponsor stuff. And then the music streams that I do every season. Uh, so that makes sense. And then the final one is my music album and Hive Mind. Um, and that's everything. It also has everyone I've collaborated with. So uh, Slime. 23 times, Atrioc, 39, Stans, 34, Cutie, 23, uh, are my main collaborators, uh, what's the collab with Mango count, probably pretty low, because I don't do a lot of YouTube videos with Mango, it's probably in like the handfuls, OTV I would imagine is around like maybe 10, uh, maybe 15, but I mean I guess every Among Us video is that, so... Uh, then the game's played over five times. My most played game in this section is Among Us, followed by Chess, followed by Minecraft, followed by Mario, and then Poker and Polybridge are tied.
with uh, Rust rounding it out. I think GeoGuessr is probably pretty up here. I guess he didn't include that as a own category for some reason. Uh, but we do have quite a few of those. Also, Pokemon's not here, which is weird, but... Uh, fair enough, fair enough. This is all the data. We're going to look at the data broken up, though, first, because I'm curious. So this starts season one. And again, if you don't know, I've uploaded a video every single day for the past 619, now 20 today, days. Uh, and whenever you're watching this, the streak is probably still going, because it means that much to me. It's pretty much the reason I stream every day and upload every day, is to keep the streak alive. And it started October 5th. And... Uh, I remember when I started it, I didn't originally think I'm going to upload every day. I just always wanted to upload as frequently as I could. That was always my goal. And it just so happened that uh, I just kept the streak alive. And after a month, I was like, damn, I've been doing this for 30 days. And then I was like, damn, I've been doing this for 60 days, 100 days. And it just kept going. And my editors also got really invested in that as well. Uh, funny enough, though, the video that started it <laughs> has... I think the worst views of any single video since doing this. Actually, let's just check that. If we sort it from A to Z, yeah. The video that started out my streak is my least successful video since ever doing this at all. Uh, which makes sense because it is admittedly like one of the older ones. But also this video right here from the album has 97K, it's from over a year later. Uh, and that one still has more views. So anyway, ignoring that, let's go look at the rest of uh, the data. Oh yeah, we can also look at what the most successful one is. There are, yeah, there are about as many people in my Twitch chat right now as watched that video, which is a crazy stat. That's just crazy. Because uh, I never would imagine having that many viewers then. My most successful video is You Cannot Laugh, It Is Impossible to Laugh, and then How I Accidentally Became the Biggest Streamer of All Time, all at 2 mil. Lie Detector, Pokemon, surely will get there very soon. I'm pretty happy with my top five because they're all very uh, different. I mean, there's two laugh videos, three, two in the top five, three in the top six. But uh, in the top ten, there's only uh, four laugh videos, and then the rest are like some really random shit. Uh, made money donating to streamers. Streamers I can beat in a fight. Tier list. Wikipedia speedrun. I bought a shroud. Pokemon tournament. Most expensive steak. Fastest masher. Swapped with my girlfriend. All these videos are, are pretty random. The sad thing is that none of them are uh, able to beat the indomitable salty ice climber moments. So for now, this by over a million views is my most popular video. The reason it's not here is because it doesn't count because uh, it wasn't uploaded during the streak. And that's what we're trying to find out today is what was uploaded during the streak. Um, so this is only the past 620 videos or 19. Uh, but as we can see, scrolling through, I actually, this is insane. I didn't realize this. The You Cannot Laugh video that has 2.5 million views, my most viewed video since this streak started, was uploaded in the first three weeks, which is kind of crazy. It means that the biggest thing I ever did was in the first month, even though I've been doing this for over 20 months now. I peaked three weeks in, yeah. Yeah. Not only that, I have two of my top 10 in the first month. Three of my top 10 in the first 33 days. That's crazy. That's crazy that three of my top 10 to, uh, videos are in the first like month uh, in change. Um, I, I, I actually didn't know that. I thought they were newer than that. But yeah, you cannot laugh. Uh, if, this, I, if I laugh, the video ends. The fastest masher in the world and uh, last to laugh wins $2,000. Were the big ones. Also, my Jeopardy show with Travis Schlatt, Connor, and Swagger Souls got a million views. And I believe this was my last Jeopardy show ever. Uh, I haven't done a Jeopardy show since December of 2019, which is crazy. That is crazy. Um,. What isn't crazy, though, is that it's coming back.
I'll have more information soon, but it's coming back. And sooner than you think. Before the month is over, you'll be seeing more Twitch Jeopardy. So it will be here pretty soon. I'll do a more flesh out announcement. I'm not going to say too much else. But Twitch Jeopardy will be back. Connor Eats Pants knew and didn't leak. That is true. You have 15 days? I know. It's coming. Uh, anyway. Next. We got season two. So season one started with the Ludwig versus Simple Flips October 5th. And it ended with a Pokemon video, which was black and white, uh, I believe. Uh, no, this is uh, this is Sword and Shield. This is my Sword and Shield Ludlock. Uh, and I didn't think any Sword and Shield video had 700,000 views almost. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, the Sword and Shield Ludlock. Uh, but my best performing videos were TikToks, Reacting, Variety Games, Reddit, myself, and then Pokemon did really bad. This ex This right here... This is the reason I didn't do a Ludlock until uh, this year. The reason I didn't do a Ludlock for 18 months was because this number right here. Because I remember every time I uploaded a Sword and Shield Ludlock video, it would do terribly. Uh, I love the Sword and Shield Ludlock. Extra, you were 12. We're just going to chop it up to you not having a lot of taste. All right, let's just keep it a stack. Let's call spade a spade. You probably also liked Baby Shark. So, you know, it, it, I just had to cut it. Because the masses of asses that make up my subs did not enjoy it because they didn't click on it. So that's why I didn't do a Ludlock for, I mean, almost two years. It is literally how badly it performed here. Uh, that was season one, though. And then season two started December. I don't really know why it became season two. I think I just did it kind of arbitrarily because I had a, I wanted to do a music stream. And, uh, and so I did one. Um, and this was season two. In December and it wasn't really that different I mean I started out with a music stream and usually I do an Amazon stream when a new season starts but it was same old same old Pokemon uh, we did if I laugh the video ends media share edition unfortunately this got demonetized so it did not do as well in views as it normally would have uh, and then we had a few other ones if I talk the video ends this is when I lost the bet to Mizkif Ludwig reacts to TikToks, 1.2 mil. How he became the world's best Wikipedia speedrunner got 1.7 million views, which was insane. Best of Ludwig did super well. Uh, you laugh, you lose. Classic. All the laugh shit and all the views. But also uh, a cool one. I asked 6,000 people the internet's hardest questions. Uh, how I accidentally won a Pokemon tournament. One of my favorite videos. I would say that's a top three all-time video for me. I love that video. That video is great. Uh, saying yes to everything chat makes me do. I think that was when I started doing marble streams. And you can see there's a lot of Ludwig content. Because I think I was just experimenting with more variety shit that would do well in videos. Hardest would you rather questions. Wikipedia speed runs. Uh, which one's more expensive. Photoshop this image. Uh, this is a story time. Lie detector test. That was one of my favorite streams as well. I like the stream more than the YouTube video because this it was pretty much the same thing, but almost 2 million views. This was actually a really good season. I didn't realize. Uh, we also had trying Japanese candy together. I did a lot of that back in the day with Cutie, ranking everything with McDonald's. I want to bring that back, the trying things with Cutie and the trying things with Slime because I used to do a lot more of those, and those have always performed well. Uh, I just stopped doing them because they're usually really hard to do. Because it's just a pain in the ass to get everything. And then it also uh, is just like really bad for my health. <laughs> just eating that much McDonald's or Pop-Tarts makes me pass out for a day just from overeating. I just get exhausted and I sleep from gluttony. So that's the pretty much only reason I don't do it. It does really well. People usually like it. That's, that's just it. Uh, and then we have another impossible not to laugh that is 2 million views. Uh, but all in all, the trying stuff, I think, did pretty well uh, in an average. We actually have a pie chart that I didn't look at in the last one. 
Uh, let's see. The trying videos. Is it even on here? Testing. It's called testing. Testing was four videos and it made up uh, 5.6%, which seems to be a larger slice of the pie. So I think it did above average. Uh, season three. What are the blanks? Uh, I think... What are the blanks? Oh, double uploads. So sometimes I upload a little after midnight, and uh, and that happened a few times. Or sometimes I have to delete a video and re-upload it. So on 121, I uploaded a video, then I deleted it because it got copyright striked, and I re-uploaded it two days later. Um, and I think this one I uploaded it after midnight, and then this one I uploaded it after midnight. Uh, and then this one I had to delete and re-upload. Um, and yeah, pretty much that happens sometimes. I remember one time, I, I don't think I've ever told chat this. I was at Disney with Cutie and Cutie loves Disney. All right. She's a Disney simp and we were there one of our first times together and I got a notification that my video was demonetized. So I spent like 45 minutes in Disney in line at the Toy Story ride just trying to coordinate with my editor to delete the video so we can re-upload it. Because when a video gets demonetized, the problem isn't that I'm not going to get paid. The problem is that I'm not going to get views, which is way more valuable. And if it's a really good video, let's just say it's like a you laugh, you lose. It's the difference from it getting like a million or even two million and instead getting like 500,000. Um, which is, it's just, it's just capped. It's just genuinely capped to such a high degree. So you have to re-upload it sometimes. And sometimes I've done it and it's worked out great. And sometimes I haven't and I've gotten fucked for it. So like, don't laugh. Media share got demonetized, uh, like a few weeks in, it was doing really, really, really well. I can even show you the stats on it. Hold up. So this video was like skyrocketing and uh, you can pretty much pinpoint the exact date that it got demonetized and it's right here on day six after a fucking normally the curves are much more natural and they'll, they'll still peter out but you can see it just plateaus. I mean it's straight up Arizona landscape right here uh, and that's just what happens. So that's why you can't have things get demonetized and like this one video the uh where is it all right okay jesus christ boys today the chill boys chill uh let me see if i can find it it's one of my it's the last amazon stream i did not the most recent one but the one before that i think No, I think it's even older than that. Hold up. I'm going to find it to show you. To show you how drastically things change here. Where is it? It's the video thumbnail where I put out my credit card and it's here in my hands. And it's an Amazon stream. I forget what it's called, though. But that's the thumbnail. And then Prezzo made fun of me on Twitter. Because he called me a dumbass. Oh, here it is. So you can see the video not only got demonetized, but it got age-restricted because it had a sex item in it. And it got confirmed by reviews, so there's no way to change that. And it did it at 156,000 views, which is a lot of views. It's doing pretty well. And this, like, you know, sucks. So... Even though it had 156,000 views, I decided, fuck it, I'm going to private it and re-upload it. And the re-upload has 730K. If I didn't do that, it would probably cap out around like 450. Uh, and that's, that's it. That's why you got to sometimes uh, delete re-upload. Oh, my camera's blocking. Well, yeah, I got 750. We'll see it coming up here in a bit. 
Uh, but that was season two, all in all. Season two, pretty pog champ. A lot of good variety stuff there. Season three, stream takes over my music playlist. This music stream did terribly. Usually they do a little better than that. Uh, if I say this where the video ends, that was Animal Crossing. I think it's one of the few Animal Crossing videos I uploaded. Uh, because most Animal Crossing videos did terribly, like this one. Uh, what else was a banger? If I laugh, I shave my head. Obviously. Why I had to ban her? That's easy clickbait. This was, <laughs> this is when I discovered the power of Pokimane clickbaiting. Is when I titled the video, Why I Had to Ban Her. And it got a million views. <laughs> and this is the thumbnail. And I was like, damn, Pokey, you get clicks. And after that, I fucking ran Pokemon in a thumbnail like eight times. And then she tweeted out on her alt account. She's like, damn, I hate when people like keep using me for clout and shit. And I was like, I had like a crisis. I was like, oh no, um, it's me. Oh no. <laughs> So I DM'd her. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, it just apologized for never asking. And she's like, oh, it's okay. I wasn't even referencing you. But now anytime I ever use Pokey in a thumbnail, I ask her before. And I do that with uh, with a lot of creators. Some I don't, like if they're fucking huge. But, uh, but I'll usually now reach out to people just to ask. Just to give them a little courtesy. Unless it's like something that's so blatant that I don't like, like I bought shroud. I spent 53 K on shroud. It's like so integral to the video that of course that's, that's fine. But this one was just clickbait. Cause pokey was barely in it. It was like a Reddit recap. You know what I mean? Corpse. Yeah. We, me and corpse talked about that. Me and corpse literally talked about making the thumbnail corpse is in this video. Um, anyway, that was that also got a few more. I don't know why this is zero views, but fair enough. One million for chat asks me anything, but I have to answer honestly. All these videos always do well. I'll probably do another one of them. Uh, I, Mizzy does these. His streams do really well when he does these. I don't think his videos do as well. Uh, here's the T. Me took this from Soda. I think Mizzy took from me, so he took it from Soda as well. Uh, Soda Poppins, the one who did this one. I remember soda pop in Q and a before I play this game, we can't do a Q and a I'm happy to answer questions. I'll answer as honestly as I can. I haven't done one of these in like four years. All right. Ask me a question. I will answer it. Right. Anyway, that's just to say that me and Ms. Kiff stand on the shoulder of giants. And in this case, the giant, is a six foot 130 pound man who plays wow in a feral druid um who's really funny <laughs> uh anyway that is where that came from then i did a sleep stream which was super fun uh although terrible because i slept terribly and cutie kept pranking me uh i don't even know what this video this stream is this stream got a little crazy it's just it's such insane clickbait what does that even mean Oh, I clickbaited dating cutie. Nice. I guess. Oh, that was a marble stream for charity. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime the title's usually confusing, I just assume it's a Reddit stream. Uh, Amazon stream. Those always do well. Uh, chess. I think this was my first chess video. Was season three when Hikaru, I think, and I did a lesson. And then I did a few more chess videos because that one did so well. And the first one did not do so good. The second one did about average. Third one didn't do very well. The fourth one did pretty bad. Uh, even though it was the, the very cool blindfolded game against Box Box. And then this one did insanely well. Because uh, it's a story time. But th I, this is also one of my favorite videos. I pretty much like every video with accidentally in the title. I'm a simp for accidentally videos. I, I think I like all of them. Some of them I kind of use and abuse it, but most of them I kind of like. Like this one is not an accidentally video, although it's called How I Accidentally Became the Best Poker Player on Twitch. This video kind of sucks, but the other accidentally's fuego. Uh, I play chess with women, but women in the title get a million views. Easy clap. Easy clap. 
Uh, and yeah, because of that chess video and the women video and the car video, the chess was my highest um, viewed thing. But the thing is, you can't look at that number because most of these videos didn't do well. Like this one did bad, this one did bad, this one did okay, and this one did bad. The only reason this did amazing was because I was lucky enough to have gone through that tournament that took me months. And this one did well because it had women in the title, and this one had Ikaru on it. So most chess things, if it's not a collab or something that takes months to do, don't do that good. It's just kind of how it is with, with chess. Uh, season 4, another music stream. This music stream also bombed. I used to think music streams did well. I guess they don't. I never knew that. Uh, and then I did a You Laugh, You Lose off Rip, ranking best anime fights. That was a really fun stream. Uh, but it turns out that when you put anime fights into a YouTube video, they all get DMCA'd and banned uh, in every country in the world. So uh, they don't really work. Uh, <laughs> uh, I Am Speed, Trackmania. Yeah, that's when I started my series, although every video after did pretty bad. Uh, but the original did great. Twitch streamer tier list. This Twitch, the Twitch streamer tier list was totally fair. The YouTuber tier list was toxic. I regret doing that. <laughs> I don't regret many videos or streams, but ranking the best YouTubers, uh, or no, excuse me. It was the streamers that was real. Yeah, that was toxic. Ranking the best YouTubers was actually just reviewing people's channels. It was a clickbait. Ranking the best streamers was toxic and made other streamers do it. And I did it, I think, uh, as classily as you can because I knew it was a bit tense and it was more like a review. But then, like, fucking XQC and fucking whoever just start pulling names and they're like, yeah, fucking trash, dude. <laughs> and not to say I, like, did it well either. I think I did it bad and I'm probably the most to blame because I also started the trend for it. But, yeah, that was – that's terrible. That's a, that was a terrible thing I did. Uh, but that was that. Uh, then we have a few other... How I Beat the Hardest Game Ever Made, Pogo Suck 2, Fire, one of my favorite videos, top three. I beat all the hardest games uh, of all time in one hour, Fire. Shout out to Small Ant for making that title and thumbnail. And then starts Amogas. The Amogas Wash takes over... Look at all the light blue littering this. All right. That is, that's a hefty chunk of Among Us at the bottom. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just Among Us videos stacked in the last like 23 days. Almost half of them. And I don't think I can really be blamed because it did the best. It's literally the highest performing, maybe a little under Ludwig, but it was the highest performing content I did, and it was super easy to do because I can literally just play an Among Us game and then uh, get a bunch of views. Which one did the best? They didn't see it coming. So I played with the biggest YouTubers in the world. A lot of people hate on the Among Us, but I don't mind because I met so many people through it and if I have to trade off a few people leaving the channel because they're mad about the video game I am playing uh, and instead I get a bunch of relationships with streamers and creators I really like then uh, I think I'm, I'm down for that uh, people like Jack or Abe or Toast you know so uh, I feel good about it uh and it did bleed into season five as well. Um, although season five, it did not do nearly as good. You can see it's 610,000 average, which is still good, but it's lower than chess, GeoGuessr, TikTok, and Ludwig videos. Ludwig videos popped off this time. Uh, I, dude, I thought this video was fire. I started season five out, and I was like, I got nothing but bangers. I made a custo YouTube video. With the internet's hardest or most asked questions and uh, and answering every Twitter question, and I thought they were fire and they just bombed. <laughs> they did not do very well. This one did okay, but this one bombed. I was shocked by that because usually Q and A's bang. Uh, then we had a few other videos. Amazon stream classic, donating to small streamers. 
Streamers I can beat in a fight. Only one of us is gay. This video <laughs> did so bad because it got demonetized right away. And I don't know why it got demonetized, but it did. It was just me reacting to the uh, Jubilee video. I thought it was such a funny video, but it did not do very well. It was low effort. Yeah, I think people say that and they don't really bat an eye when I just react to my Reddit or just play an Among Us game or react to TikToks. But I don't know. I upload daily. I'm not really concerned about getting credit for putting high effort into a video. Um, a lot of YouTubers, is entire channels is just reacting to like cut videos or Jubilee videos. And, uh, and they're funny. The Cody's funny. He's a funny dude. Uh, anyway... This, this video, I don't know why it did so well, but fair enough. Bunch of TikToks. I made money doting a streamer. I think this is my favorite video of all time. This is my number one. I don't think there's a single other video I like more than I made money doting a streamers. Because I think it's just such a sick idea. Uh, And then probably the Pokemon tournament and then probably Pogo Stuck. But yeah, this is my favorite video. Also, couples costumes. Uh, Q&A, but I can't lie, which did really well. Uh, doing whatever stream tells me to do. Those are always sick. I don't do Marvel streams a lot. Not because I don't like marbles. One, I don't want it to wear out. But two, I hate it because I have to eat eggs. I have to fucking wear stupid costumes. I have to tweet dumb shit. If I did a Marvel stream every week, everyone would unfollow me on Twitter because I would just be tweeting the dumbest shit every week. Cutie's pregnant. And everyone on Twitter would be like, shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> just shut, shut, shut up. Just please, just one day, shut the fuck up. And I would just every week, Cutie's prego buggers. Amazon stream. Donating to small streamers. What a douchey title, by the way. Donating to small streamers if they answer right. <laughs> And it's like asking them trivia questions. Toxic. Toxic. Uh, can you taste the difference between cheap and expensive steak? Fire video. I want to do more cooking shit. Cooking shit is fun. Um, This video did terribly. I think it was one of my worst performing videos in the past year. Is when I sang the anime songs with Toaf. But I thought it was funny. Uh, Scriblio. Classic. We have a couple Minecraft videos. I don't do too much Minecraft. A couple Smash videos. Uh, and still a bit of a Mogas, but not too much. Few and far between. The Greatest Game of Family Feud. This was fire. This Game of Family Feud was actually so fire. I can't believe it's six months ago now. And then my Christmas album. Damn. You know what's crazy is... After releasing my Christmas album... My views on YouTube almost doubled. And it was like overnight. And originally I thought it was just because, you know, I uploaded literally seven videos in one day. Actually, eight videos. And obviously if you upload eight videos in one day, like you're going to get way more views. But no, it wasn't that. It's just ever since then, I think a lot more people watched my older videos. Because you'll see it's not even like my newer videos have higher averages. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't understand it. I think you can see it on uh, Social Blade. I think it tracks that kind of shit. But yeah, this was the month before I dropped the Christmas album. I got 33, 34 million views, which makes sense because I literally uploaded eight, nine or 10 extra videos that month. And then it, it dipped down a bit and then it's still like about double, which is crazy. Because I don't get double the views. Back here, I was getting like 300K, 400K a video. I don't get like 800,000 views a video. It's just a bunch of people watching my old shit. I don't know. But it also had... Uh, this was a good month. The Pokemon unboxing, Pokemon week, the Christmas album. Just a, a few OTV collabs. The music video was sick. The best of. Yeah, December was a fire month. 
And it didn't end up until I think probably the subathon started. So we still have Wikipedia speedrun, higher lower. I bought Shroud, <laughs> which was crazy. Uh, and then this is the first bros. No, no, this isn't it. This is the first bros vs. pros. Every bros vs. pros video has done pretty well. That's one of my favorite series that I've done this year. I know the subathon's really big, and that's a people that's the thing people always talk about this year, but I think Bros vs. Pros was a six series that I started this year. And uh and they all do pretty well, which is sick. A few more chess videos. We also brought in Hive Mind. Hive Mind never does amazing, but they do pretty good. I mean like four hundred K. I thought about making a game channel. I still might do this, but I thought about just making a channel for game shows and having hive mind there, but I don't think they would do very well. So I think I'll just keep them on the main. Uh, and then after this play along, I took a break. I came back. Uh, wait, I think he has the start of season six wrong because season six started on three, I think 10. Uh, so it's a little bit off here. But the new season started uh, at like the start of the subathon. That was season six. That is about when it started. Uh, he did it by playlist videos. I didn't make those playlists. Oh, when I do the playlist video. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Unfortunately, I uploaded this about 10 days late. Because I didn't want to upload it until I had created the playlist and curated it, which I didn't do. So that makes sense. But season six actually started around this video. I would say this is the video. Actually, probably this one. Weighing myself for the first time since core teens, the Reddit recap, and then why I took a break. But that's all right. It's not that big of a difference. And then we have where we are now which is season six after my break started the subathon music stream. The, this was a weird time for my YouTube channel because, uh, I did nothing. I made very few of the thumbnails and titles. I was not very involved because I was live every single second of my life <laughs> that, uh, it was hard. It was hard to do, uh, and take care of. So shake and polite took over in a major way. And, uh, and I didn't have that much planned YouTube content. Like, I try to come up with stuff, but, you know, I got a bit lazy. So the YouTube actually faltered a bit. But then this video popped the fuck off, how I accidentally became the biggest streamer of all time. And then I started working on YouTube a lot harder when the subathon ended. Um, and we had more getting over it shit. Biggest streamer on Twitch, which is the map thing. Played with Magnus Carlsen which was fun, brought back TikTok time, which I hadn't done in like a month or two. Um, Amazon stream, Amazon unboxing, the React, just did a bunch of shit and brought back all the classics. Slimmings are dating, human benchmark. I think the Slim Jim streams are pretty fire. I started the house series, although I think that's already dead because they're doing bad now. Like the first one did good, it has 800K. And the second one has like 646K, still pretty good. And then the third one has like 445K, not too great. And then the fifth one has 380K, which is pretty bad. So I think it's kind of GG for the React house streams. They were fun for a while, but I think it's about rip. Um, and here we are now. Uh, and I took a few trips, so I think it's not been doing, it hasn't been the hottest week, but I don't know. I think we have some good shit coming and yeah, that's it. That's the channel. I didn't look at this Ludwig videos, chess. Wow. I think I only had a couple chesses, but Ludwig videos make me happy when they do the best. Cause usually they're the ones I put the most effort into. But I think season five was was good. I think it's a little skewed because the numbers aren't exactly right when it ends and starts. But 
I think the love lock video will be cool when I eventually beat that and that's out. We have an Amazon unboxing that I think will be really funny. Uh, we have more bros versus pros coming. We have uh, Twitch Jeopardy coming back. We have Hive Mind, which is going to be double uploads, which will be sick. So basically every time we upload it, uh, there will be something else uploaded. Uh, we have uh, more collabs like with Jerma, the Mario Kart with a bunch of other streamers. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff's coming. So I'm pretty excited about YouTube as a whole. I'm really excited about Twitch Jeopardy, which I'll announce more soon. And I also secretly have been working on a different project. That's not for you, my YouTube channel. And it's been in the works for like almost two months. And that will be announced soon. Not today. Not even Shake knows, I don't think. This is a very secret project that very few people know about. But it will be leaked soon. Um, maybe. Whenever I do Twitch Jeopardy, I'll announce it then. How about that? No leaks. I'll announce it by the end of the month. Well, that's something I've been working on really hard. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see when it comes out. It'll come out soon. Uh, but there it is. Oh, I think Tom and chat made this. Hey, uh, hearts and chat for Tom. For making that, Tom. I hope you didn't have to punch in everything individually because that's kind of crazy if you did. But that was that's nuts. What you made is insane. Uh, very cool. Very cool stats. And now it is time for the Ludlock. Connor probably knows about it. Yeah, Connor knows about it. Connor knows everything, chat. He's just not a narc. Wait, he just said it in chat? Connor! No, it's not merch. I am working on merch. I've told you that, though. Yeah, I'm making my own casino. Imagine I make my own gambling casino to scam you all. The one final scam is a true scam. What gym are we on? We're not. We're past having to beat gyms. We're at Victory Road. Which is very Monkos, yeah. Mods, can we change the title?
All right, hold up. My bad. We have a new computer, so uh, none of this is set up. Boom. There we go. I think all I'm missing is my juicy overlay. Where are you? Not in desktop? Perhaps downloads? No. Documents? Damn, how are people organized? My mom roasted me the other day for not being organized. She was like, I don't know how you're not organized. And I said, I don't know. I never was as a kid. She's like, yeah, you're supposed to learn. <laughs> I was like, what do you, what do you want? Just wow. learn, forehead. Rubble moves turtle next when. I now live by the way of the turt thanks to you. The way of the turt. Ah, a man after my own heart. Um, I actually, that turtleneck I wore on stream, I was thought I thought about releasing. But, uh, but I'm working on it. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I just got to, uh, I got to do a couple things. All right, hold up. You put it here. You right click. What turtleneck? It was like a 90s turtleneck. It was like a thicker one rather than being like the thin Steve Jobs one. That way, everyone who sees it doesn't call you Steve Jobs looking motherfucker. What happens if you lose at this point? Depression, uh, agony, um, just unadulterated pain. Um, pretty much that's it. All right, give me just a second. I got a piss. I'll be right back.
Let's fucking play Pokemon. Do 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 G Fuel Pog Champ G G G Fuel Pog Champ G G G G G G G Fuel. I'm sponsored FTC. Take note. Don't ban me for sponsored materials. Flint's live. He's been live for three minutes and you stuck around just for me to come back for my piss to tell me he's live. <laughs> I have notifs. I knew he was live. I was like, it's a perfect time for a piss. So everyone who wants to leave to go watch Clint will fucking leave. You waited. You didn't leave. You specifically waited to tell me that he was going live. That's not the only reason I took a while. I was also reading comments in my YouTube video. Everyone was... Uh, people were saying they were crying. And I was like... <laughs> the only reason everyone was crying is because I used the most powerful song in all of Pokemon at the end of my video. Which just forces you to cry. You just play the video and it's like... <laughs> and then you talk about like medial sad shit. I remember when my dad died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Titus from Final Fantasy. I remember when my old man used to tell me, Hey, Titus, you old sack of shit, get the remote, fucker! And I just thought, man. <laughs> uh, Alright, is Lapras dead? I don't remember. The Garchomp died. So if you guys haven't been watching, the Ludlock is a very simple Pokemon experience. By simple, I mean it's been taking me three months, eight runs, and I have 150 people banned in my chat because every Pokemon I catch I named after a viewer, and every Wasn't Pokemon a fan, fan is a viewer I heard you talk fan. Favorably or dead about Doofus, Doofus and now you're like my favorite streamer less than three Dofus was punk. Let me tell you, you're easy to grab if, if it's Dofus. Although, look, Dofus is a small enough community that if a... Uh, if you just find someone else who played it, you immediately have a little bond. Um, Nidoqueen died. Uh, okay, I'm looking through my team right now. Did I max EV this guy? I don't think I... Did I? No, I didn't. No way I did. I just caught him. I literally just caught him. Dofus is a French MMORPG I used to play as a kid. That's uh, It's just kind of fire. It's just like a genuinely pretty good game. And not many people played it because it was French. So you had to go to French servers. Yeah, Wokfu I think is like the parent branding. Oh, I'll do this. Uh, yeah, sorry. No, it's my mouse is actually just... So I'm actually just... It's a display capture... I played Club Penguin. Extra, you're 14. You played Club Penguin like yesterday, bro. Come on. You got to stop doing this to me. You're asking for it. When I say I was a kid, I meant I was 14 playing Dofus. <laughs> it got deleted. You know too much already. All right. New mod for Lud to bully hypers. He is a great target, I'll say that. He did send me a... I asked him to send me a permission slip because... Um, 
I had to pay him a bunch of money and I didn't know if I was breaking child labor laws. And I wanted to make sure his parents knew he was watching me because I wouldn't exactly say my content is is like ideal for a 14 year old. I mean, I'm not saying that 14 year olds don't watch me. I'm just saying like, you know, if I was a parent, I wouldn't be thrilled by the things that come out of my mouth because I say a lot of dumb shit sometimes. So Exter sends me a DM uh, and it's a picture of him and his dad. And instead of signing a permission slip, Exter just wrote, um, will you sign to agree to give me a lot of Ludwig to give me a lot of fucking money or something like that. That was it. That was the whole entire permission slip was just, will you let Ludwig send me a lot of money? And then his dad signed. He was like, and I'm like, yeah, no shit. You didn't exactly phrase that honestly, Exter. All right. Could have been a little more upfront. The concern wasn't giving you a bunch of money. The concern was that you were watching something that maybe they didn't approve of. And now you have, a, a, you know, somewhat of a responsibility every time you watch. Which, I mean, to be fair, is too damn much. So he's one of the better choices for mods. I'm trying to find the message now, but I don't know his Twitter. Extra, what's your Twitter? I can't find it. It's the same as Twitch? Really? Exter underscore underscore underscore. Did I block you? No. Exter, can I show this? Is this doxing your dad? Are you chill with me doxing your dad? Are you even old enough to consent to doxing? This is it. This is Exter and his father. And that piece of paper says, I give permission for Exter underscore 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 to receive loads of money, colon capital D. Signed his mom and dad. And he crossed out the first part because he originally wrote his mom and then fucked up just writing the letter M which is what we're dealing with here, boys. He wrote M with an extra line at the end, which I've, I don't think I've ever done extra. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how that, I don't know how you did that. Slime was 16 smoking weed when extra was <laughs> not even born, which is crazy. Follow my Twitter. No shot. There's no shot I'll follow your Twitter because of your last DM to me. You're literally in the in the fucking red zone right now. You're you're closer to getting blocked than followed. So Lud, I know you're gonna donut wall me again, but I have an idea. Polite made a tweet that you're running out of content because you aren't streaming as much. I think it's a good idea if you let me upload a 15 minute Minecraft let's play to your channel. I've attached a thumbnail even. Like, what? I need a tight five minute stand up set posted onto my Reddit recap, performed in front of your mother and father. <laughs> I'm working on the five minute stand up. Take your time. All right, I have to go max EV. I think I want to keep Hariyama. Is that crazy of me? Hariyama with guts seems pretty good. I could give it a toxic orb. Thing is, I don't have a fighting type, right? So this is just guaranteed good coverage. Flame orb him's better. All right, then yeah, I'll flame orb him. Hariyama with Guts, he's not even max EV right now, and he already has 151 attack. Look at that. It's the highest almost on my team. And he's he's four levels lower than Azrevir, and he has almost the same attack. Now, a couple problems I'm noticing is he's very slow, which is cringe. Uh, I don't love that, but I could give him like a, like a Mock Punch. And then Mock Punch with max EV with Guts seems a little goaded in a flame orb I kind of like the idea of that 
Doesn't Flame Orb reduce physical damage? Yeah, it halves it, but with a uh, Guts, it, it, it ignores that status effect and just doubles attack, I think. Or maybe 1.5x is... He also has insane HP. Yeah, he has more HP than Umbreon. And he'll have more HP than Lapras with max EVs, because you're going to max, obviously, health and attack. So it doesn't seem bad. I could also give him a Quick Claw, but I think just Mock Punch with uh, lefties is probably best. If, oh, no. No, sorry. He can't have a whole item that's not the Burn Orb. He needs the Burn Orb. He's going to be a fucking beast. Yeah. And he covers... What does he cover? He covers... I need to pull up my charts and shit. It's been a minute. He covers Dark Type, which is convenient, because um, I don't think I currently have anything that covers that right now. I usually just have a War of Attrition, because they're not so strong. Uh, he covers Steel Type, which is really good, because I have uh, almost nothing to cover Steel, because I have zero Fire Types. Um, and I have Ground Moves, which are cool, but sometimes there's like a Skarmory or some shit. Uh, he also covers um, Rock... And ice, I think ice is the biggest problem for me. I think I have zero, I have zero fire types, so I have nothing that's super effective against ice and um, dark. Or excuse me, ice and steel. And so this would cover not only ice and steel, but also dark. So I think it's pretty good. But I could also say... Electivire is also a fighting type. <gasps> I did forget about that. Mm, Electivire is a fighting type. That is true. He does have close combat. <sighs> I still think it's not a terrible idea, but let's just shop around real quick. I, the other thing I was thinking was adding um, Weavile. Dark Ice type. I already have a Dark type, so that's not super necessary. But Inner Focus is like somewhat convenient. And this Pokemon is pretty good as like a starter. You know? Like the first Pokemon you have out there. Very fast. I kind of love the idea of letting a Weavile rock. Uh, I currently have to evolve it with a Razor Claw, but that should be pretty easy to do. So, I don't know. I, I, th that's what I'm between right now, is a Weavile and a Hariyama. What is Ice Cover that I'm not currently covering? Ice covers flying, which isn't so necessary with my Electivire. Uh, ground? Wait. Yeah, ground as well, um, which isn't necessary because I have so many water types. Grass, which is actually pretty good for me because uh, I don't have many. I mean, I have Lapras with... Ice Beam, but then I have a Water type against a Grass, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to switch in there. So for Grass and Dragon, it would cover. Ground is not a problem. I would just have Gyarados take care of it. But Dragon, Lapras can take care of. This would be just an additional unit, and also Grass is the main coverage. So that's one option. The other option is... Oh, let's check the ability real quick. Uh, it's the no flinch, but the nature is plus special defense minus speed, which is about as bad as it gets. Uh, so that's not great. What about a Blastoise? Is Blastoise custom in this, or is it just a straight up fucking Blastoise? Yeti just freaked out that he's drizzle. What are you freaking out about? Drizzle W. What? What? Why are we spamming W? <laughs> What's going on? It automatically rains when he switches in. 
Wait, how do you see that? I don't see that. It looks like I have to set up rain. Wait, so when I evolve him, you're telling me that his ability is going to be Drizzle, which causes rain to appear when he's switched in or if he starts in the fight. And then he has a secret ability, a hidden ability called Rain Dish, which will heal him from the rain. So he basically gets free leftovers? No, you don't get both? Then why are you freaking out? Who gives a shit? Is rain, like, really good? Like, should I have water? It powers up water-type moves. By 50%? Gives thunder. <laughs> Look, that's such a random useless stat. Nobody rocks thunder because it's seventy percent accuracy. Everyone rocks thunderbolt usually. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could give. Oh, I guess I see what you're saying. I could give as revire thunder, but he's also physical, so I couldn't. Huh. So that's an interesting choice, but do I really want a third water type? I mean, I guess if I'm running a rain dance team, then it's not that stupid because I'm specifically trying to boost water moves. And I think water's the best move type. So we have Weavile, we have Blastoise, we have Hariyama. Let's check out a few other Pokemon, because this is really important, chat. Uh, we are in the fucking crux of it. Uh, Liquid Ooze. Inflicts damage on foes using any draining move. Is fine, I guess. Um, Tentacruel is a pretty good Pokemon. But Liquid Ooze isn't that great, and it's not a great nature. It's not like the best Tentacruel ever. It's a pretty mid-Tentacruel. This could be interesting. An Aerodactyl. Is Aerodactyl even a good Mon? I don't know. Actually, the worst nature possible. Just legitimately the worst nature you could possibly get. He's kind of squishy. I don't love squishy because I'm just not great with it, to be honest. Uh, I did use Torterra for a bit. Torterra is interesting because it doesn't get crit. I also got Leech Seed and Seed Bomb and Lefties. And it's a pretty defensive creature. So that could be interesting. And then, I think the other option I'm thinking is Nidoking. But I actually don't love Nidoking. Toxicroak has a bad nature and ability. Actually, that's a fine nature. Uh, but the ability is terrible. Because Toxicroak, when it has uh, dry skin, is goaded. Because every water type move just gets absorbed. Um, but unfortunately, I have Anticipation, which is pretty terrible. Ah. <sighs> 
consider Electrode? I think with Electivire, I wouldn't consider it. It would only be a swap situation. I don't know if, if this is like a necessarily good Pokemon. Plus special defense minus special attack. Already, that's pretty bad. Full immunity to all sound-based moves. Oh, that's not great. No, I don't think it's great. Uh, what is this Swallow doing? Terrible. I can't believe you gain HP in a hailstorm. That seems so counterintuitive. Floatzel's good. But I have Water Veil. I mean, I guess if my idea is to really pump up Gyarados, then getting a Blastoise to set up Drizzle and then switching into Gyarados isn't isn't a bad idea. You know what I'm actually considering right now though is swapping Trickerita for Torterra. Or Meganium, I should say. Although the defense of Meganium is higher, the no crits plus just having a ground type so I can swap out of Gyarados against someone with an electric type move seems pretty good. Fairy coverage isn't that valuable, I think. Uh, especially when I have, I think, coverage for everything fairy kills. Because Fairy covers Fighting, Ice, and Dark. Uh, and I already have Dark coverage with Fighting. I have Dragon coverage with Ice. And I have Fighting coverage with... Uh, well, actually, nothing. But I also have Fighting Defense. Sorry, not Ice. I misspoke. I'm a Dragon. But I have Fighting Defense with Gyarados. So Gyarados kind of fucks up Fighting types. Although, I guess fighting is kind of a problem. Like, fighting fucks up you, you, and then fighting with a thunder punch will fuck up you. But Torterra should be able to resist because it can't get crit. Like, not resist, like resist, resist, but like, not die. I still think the Torterra swap is good, though. So I think I'm going to do it. It is more synergetic. Torterra is also a bit of a beefcake. And I think I'm going to actually teach Torterra. I'm going to make Torterra a bit of a defensive man's. And I think I'll probably be changing the move set to reflect light screen, earthquake, seed bomb. Does it learn those? Doesn't everybody? A 4x ice weakness? Yeah, but if I have an ice Pokemon, I can just bring in Lapras, who's 4x defensive. Uh. Alright, let's see. Can I teach... I think it's 26. No, 33. Wait, is the other one? No. 
Uh, can I teach reflect? Yeah. Can I teach light screen? Yeah. Okay, I think that's my play. And then I'm a swap. Uh, do I want to swap Hariyama? I do need speed. Yeah, I think you're right. I have a pretty fucking... Well, actually, my team's not that slow. I have Electivire, who's very fast. Right? 148 speed is mid. And then Electivire is 178. Seventy-eight's fast as fuck, boy. Psychic type defense? I have a dark type. Dark just destroys psychic. Like, literally just owns it. Like a fucking Ben Shabibo video. Surprised you don't have Toga Kiss? <laughs> I did. Well, okay, how about this? How about I don't make the decision now? How about I just max EV, IV, or excuse me, max EV both these guys? And then make the call. So let's get Hariyama juiced up. Let's get my other guy juiced up. Then we'll call it a day. And figure it out. Poison coverage? I have Earthquake on, like, at least three Pokemon. I have Earthquake, I think, on Electivire, Gyarados, and Torterra. Give Electivire Psychic. Yeah, that's a good idea. Woodhammer? I don't... Yeah, I'll give him Woodhammer. His moveset's not done yet. I'm not even worried about the Elite Four. This is mostly just having a solid team to get through Victory Road without losing too many players. Specifically, I think the key players I absolutely cannot lose under any circumstance are Gyarados, and then like eight tabs, and then Umbreon, who's been very key, and that's about it. And then I think my Lapras is very key. My Lapras is really important for uh, Dark types. Isn't it better to leave them out of Victory Road? Well, it's like a double-edged sword, right? If I leave them out, then I could wipe. And if I wipe, I have to restart the entire thing. So I need to leave them in, but I also need to win. So I need good swapping mons, basically. Alright, Hariyama, we need to give him a power bracelet, I think. Bracer. Uh, and then I need to give him a shit ton of carbos. No, protein. All right, and now it's been a while, but chat. It's time to dance.
Thank you, the five gift that I think it's autumn. Appreciate it. Uh, you're a little too early, but you'll get there. All right. Why is everyone just saying empty bed cat jam? Uh, what do I need? I need to go to Big Gomble City for Gomble time. TTS is on ya. Fade Spot, thank you, the Prime. Uh, I need to go here because I need a, a Razor Claw, unless I own one. Oh, I do. Look at the increase in speed. It's at 143 right now. And our final stats after evolving. 152 speed, 163 attack. And that is 10 levels too low. So let's increase its levels. All right. And our Weevil has pretty bad nature, and what a fucking terrible ability. I believe the whole Ludwin situation was a plan all along by Jchlat, the man who has solved social media. He didn't give us the solution but sent us through the journey. Ludwin 7. Yeah, I'm down to give all the blame to Schlatt, sure. Uh, what I am noticing is that I have a couple of weak Pokemon that I should likely find and give a Focus Sash to. I'm poor? Oh no, this is terrible. This is so cringe. I don't want to be poor. I want to be rich and buy fun stuff. Oh God, oh my God. Where do I find a goddamn Mart? I need to go to a Mart. Now I think I can sell some of my stuff. Is there a way to change a Pokemon's ability? No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe. Not that I know of. What? Hey, you love thing. Hey. I hope you can beat this before the 23rd. Me too. If you can't, then it'll be the fourth time I have to resub while being banned. <laughs> Any frizz? Toaster, it's it's coming. It's whoa, look at this. Huh. That's cool. Uh, alright, what can I sell that is worth a lot of money? A lot of moolah, baby. A uh, reaper cloth. I'll keep that. Shiny stone? Sure, I got two of them. Fuck it. Power belt? Sure, I got two of them. Fuck it. Oh, no, I got one of them. Let's not do that then. Red shard? No. It's worth very little. Um, star piece. Oh, I'm rich. That's all an EXP share is worth. It's uh, I have a lot of fossils, but it feels a little grimy to sell them because I got them for freebie. 
A rare bone? Don't mind if I do. A rare bone is what we call an off weekend for Eamon. The joke being that Eamon does not have a lot of sex. Sell my pearls? Okay, yeah, sorry. I'll stop talking about Eamon's sex life. My bad. Pearls. Oh, I got three. Okay, 2100. Pog champ. Thank you, the 10 months dumpling, the 14 polizoid, the three bull and fool, and the 14 ted boya, and the six kyopus. All right, I am rich. I am very rich, and I want to buy a lot of shit. Specifically, many hey, look, focus sashes. Hey, the ghost of time dial. So, I just wanted to say I do not blame you for my death, good. but come on. Hail. Really? Please win this so I can finally lol at all your jokes. Oh wait. Alright, didn't have to leave it like that. Time Dial was unironically a pretty goaded mon that I'm kind of sad died, because the double intimidate strats were filthy. Double intimidating people and then having a dark water type to sweep in was so hype. Up until you died to hail. That was very cringe. Alright, I think 4k should be enough. Was good, bro. Thank you for the four months, man. And Portis Cunningham, thank you for the 15. And D, thank you for the three months. Longer shorts. Half eaten chicken. Tangy poppy. Thank you, boys. All right. I want to buy. I would like to buy a focus sash. Probably two. And I think I'll just hold 2K in case something is like so necessary, I think. Got back from Vegas, buy more chips. Look, I'm not Mo here, all right? I'm not down bad. I still got a pretty penny in the bank. Uh, let's give the focus sash to... Uh, Weavile. And what does Hariyama have? He needs the, uh... Do I have a... Do I even have one? A flame orb? I might not... I might need to get one. Do I need to get one? Did you guys see one? Someone said light clay for Torterra and I've never even heard of that item and I have no idea what it does. Do I even own one? The Zad, thank you, Tiny Moose, uh, Moses Cosmic, or Comics, CMS, thank you, man. Light Clay, wait, I want, why did I leave? Light Clay extends the rounds of Reflect and Light Screen. <gasps> oh, from eight, yeah, from five turns to eight turns, right? That's actually such a good item. <gasps> All right, let me get Light Clay then. One year pooba loose. All right, let's do that then. Light clay for Torterra. Flame orb for Hariyama. Focus sash for Weavile. Leftovers for the rest of the group. This seems like a really good team right now. Someone checking on Yeti. He seems a little down bad right now. I 
actually have no idea what the Elite Four's level cap is. Uh, I haven't checked. I guess I could take a squeak right now. This website, it used to be in dark and now it's in light and it hurts my eyes. Uh, oh. It's not here. Uh, it doesn't show me. I can see that in Victory Road, I have a level 66 level cap. What do you need? I was looking for the level cap for the Elite Four because I didn't know it. I was curious. Just an FYI, if you want to hold a held item with RE armor you can just go into a wild battle with the flame orb on, and then run after a turn and switch the item. Oh, and then give it leftovers so it heals everything it loses. It's a really good idea. I gotta pee real quick though. What? Hey Lud, I just wanted to thank you for doing the dog collar streams. It is very brave to be so open about your kinks, and we are proud of you, Ludwig7. Not gonna lie, those kink jerk uh, jokes earlier were super cringe. <sighs> um, all right, what did I miss? Just get rid of Lapras. And get Blastoise with Drizzle instead, which will work better with Gyarados, and it will also work better with Torterra. And then I can keep both Weavile and Hariyama. I can't read my chat! 
What do I increase for Blastoise? All right, take care, Tom.
singing almost sounds like a lonely island. I'm gonna beat it! All right, moment of truth. Hey, Lud. Love the vids, but I think your next career move should be to take on political Twitch. First, you start out with some small debate panels and just yell, yell, yell at everyone, and eventually you could even debate Destiny and go. What? Can you say happy birthday to me? It would mean a lot. Smiles. Happy birthday, Ethan. Now, what are your thoughts on the Israeli-Palestinian situation, Ethan? Please type in chat right now. All right, you little... Bitch. <laughs> uh, okay. You're my man's. What is the ability? Nature is modest, which is literally the best nature possible. Bang! Let's go! Oh, this is so good. What a good Pokemon now. This might be the best possible combination of nature and ability. To have Drizzle... With modest nature, max out EV. Let's see where we end up after 25 rare candies to the dome. Here's my first pitch. Why listen to me? I am a decently attractive dude. I play video games. Make millions of dollars? Why do you want to be a streamer? It's gonna be miserable. You're gonna hate it. It's not gonna be fun. Fun, 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 Fucking quit. 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 That is my advice to you. Quit. 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 You will not make it. Quit. 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 That is my advice to you. Quit. 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 Fucking quit. What is this move? Uh -huh. One fifty. Wait, you think? Uh, what do I think about what? Uh, yeah. Just incredibly shocking how far this has gone. And it seems as though the trend is only going to get more and more obscene. Uh, but admittedly... Okay, shut the fuck up. Admittedly, uh, I will say that it is much easier because it's so visually abhorrent to chastise this when I think the number one problem they'll have to tackle is gambling on Twitch. But IMO, they should just demonetize both categories. So if you are in the category of casino, you cannot make money. If you're in the category of pools, hot tubs, whatever, you cannot make money. And then likely people will just kind of start falling off making content there naturally. This is ASMR. Demonetize that. I don't know.
they'll go and just chatting, then ban them because that you shouldn't do that. There's specifically a category there, and that's just, I mean, the most... I mean, everybody does a little bit of category changing, obviously, but I think that is pretty obscene, you know? They should just make... Are the channels 18 plus? I mean, they should be 18 plus channels if they're not. Isn't ad revenue not much compared to other sources? Not for someone like Ammo, who runs a bunch of ads and has like 15,000 viewers and streams like 300 hours a month. Ammo probably makes like 50 to 100K off ads every month. And getting rid of all that probably hurts, which is why she tweeted about it, you know? She said 40K? Yeah, probably early. But November, December roll around should be making like 100, 200K. Music, we're actually done. Plan on doing a Christmas album again? Nah, I think it's a little cheesy to just do the same exact thing. You know what I mean? Because I picked my six favorite Christmas songs. So what am I going to do? Pick my next six favorite? <laughs> but I do want to make music still. I just don't think it'll be necessarily Christmas music. trying to do right now i'm trying to change the moves of my new three pokemon that i just added to ensure that they're the best possible move sets for this team so let's first fly to heart foam um and then fly the fuck out of here because it's the wrong place and instead go to pastoria Make a Veterans Day album. <laughs> and I'm proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. I mean, those songs do go dumb hard. All rise for the national anthem. I've said this before, but in high school, I was the kid who would show up at the hockey game to sing the national anthem or the basketball game. I'm not a little bitch, you are so, but thanks here, 10 bucks, cause I don't know how to save my money. Uh, ooh, little bitch, don't know how to save any money. Little, little bitch boy can't save no squeesh. Hmm. Don't sound like big bitch moves. Just saying. Me, I'm a big bitch. I don't, I don't, I don't fail that. <laughs> Every time I say bitch, he donates 10 more dollars. Uh, okay. This is, this is Blastoise. He does have Skull Bash. Skull Bash doesn't seem great. The user tucks its head to raise its defense in the first turn, then rams the foe. Oh, wait. It is interesting. I 
mean, the only thing I'm even slightly considering adding is maybe Flash Cannon. Dark Pulse or Dragon Pulse. But before I do that, I should definitely add Ice Beam. Ice Beam is probably just better. Oh my shit! Thank you, the United Arab Emirates 44, for the 100 gifted subs. That is fucking crazy. That is a Pog U Hypers moment. Thank you very much. That's insane. I really appreciate that. Everybody hearts in chat for, for Matsuhito's alt account. <laughs> Rapid spin would be goaded against spikes. Yeah, but in this, the CPUs don't often do that. And if there's ever is a setup mon that just uses spikes, usually I can take enough advantage by just setting up with dragon dances to fucking sweep. So setup, like straight up setup mons that have spikes are not that fearsome. Uh, I'm thinking Ice Beam over Yawn. Ice Beam's good coverage because it will cover uh, flying and dragon. Grass will just switch out, but flying and dragon. So I think I'm good. Yawn can be clutch, but the fact of the matter is I don't think... Can I just use Water Spout, chat? Like, how does Water Spout work? I understand that the lower the user's HP, the less powerful it becomes, but what's the... How does that work? If I'm at, like, half HP, are we half attack? That's not great. So I pretty much can only use it my first turn. And even then, I might not be able to because I'm pretty slow. The thing is, if, it, if, I, if I am full health... It does 225 damage because I do drizzle off rip. No, it does more than that. Fuck you, I'm big bitch. Ethan, thank you the $10. Happy birthday. And I appreciate the donos. Dude, you're telling me that Water Spout's doing 300 damage off rip. Oh, that's so juicy. Is he slow? Why would he be slow? Blastoise, after all, is a turtle. I have two turtles on my team. Oh my god. Oh my god, my team. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, this is a slow fucking team. Alright, let's speed it up. Oh shit! Oh! Oh. Oh shit! They, you literally double their speed, holy fuck. I'm thinking Ice Beam for sure, though. Because I just want that coverage for flying. Because flying is so common. Uh, and also Dragon, which is so big in late game. So let's get rid of Water Pulse. Because Water Pulse is not going to stick around. And then I can go down and probably just get Surf, keeping it pretty simple. Uh, good move, 100 accuracy, 90 attack. Get rid of... Do I want Yawn?
Yeah, if I'm slow, yawn's bad, because I have to take at least one hit, then I use yawn, one hit, then yawn, I... yeah, I'll take two hits, which isn't great. Should I have added scald? Oh, maybe I should have done scald. Scald might have been better. I actually don't think Scald's better. Only because I have Drizzle and I have Stab. Of the game zero hour, you should check it out. So instead of like a... Tw like so, so Scald is 80, right? And Surf is 90. Which is pretty mar marginal. But when you 1.5x both, we're looking at one... What is it? 160? as opposed to 180. So it's 20 more damage. It's not one point, stab is 1.5. Guys, it's stab plus drizzle so it's 1.5 plus 1.5 which is 2.0 i don't think it goes 2.25 i don't think i don't think it works like that i'm pretty sure it goes off the base damage it doesn't stack it's it's a simple uh, interest. Not a progressive. One point five plus one point five is three. Okay, we're fucked. You guys, <laughs> God help your souls. <laughs> Get rid of the one. The one does not matter. Think of it as percentages. So it's 50% plus 50%, which is a 100% increase in damage. So I think 20 extra damage could be twerk it. Play Valorant pussy. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't played in a while. I do want to play soon. What? Have you heard about the game Zero? How do you think my name fits into the Twitch meta? Also, Happy Gate Best Mod and Exeter is a child peepo giggles. Jesus Christ, you went for the fucking whole nine yards there. <laughs> Should I get rid of a fighting type coverage move, which covers against dark... No, because it also covers ice, which is good. And steel. And rock. And normal. I think fighting is actually one of the best coverages. But I do have two fighting types. So maybe dragon pulse is, get, is better. Which will be... But I don't need dragon pulse because it's only good against dragon types. So then the only other thing I would add is dark pulse. But I already have... A dark type. Dark pulse. Dragon only covers dragon, but ice beam covers dragon, so dragon is useless. Dark pulse covers ghost in psychic. What? But I literally have a dark type. Flash cannon's kind of cool because that covers rock, ice, and fairy. Flash cannon might be the play. And I get rid of water spout. Or I could get rid of aura sphere. I think I have to get rid of water spout. It just makes no sense.
Because I'm always going to get hit first, and if I get hit for more than 40% damage, then it's going to be weaker than if I just use Surf. If I was fast, this move would be goaded. Unfortunately, I am not. Alright, that's a pretty fucking good dude, then. You could just Choice Scarf. Doesn't that 1.5x speed, or is it, it double speed? One point five X. It's not a yeah, one point five X isn't even that fast, bro. I'm at one fifty. One fifty is not even faster than my Gyarados. And everybody's max EV in the Elite Four anyway. So I'm gonna end up being slower than a lot of Pokemon still. And then I'm also locked to a move when one of my biggest advantages for Blastoise is how many different coverages I have. I mean, look at me. I got a fucking water move. I got a fighting move. I got an ice move. I got a steel move. This is a beautiful move set. And instead of doing something goofy like a choice scarf blastoise, I can do something much more reasonable, like just a straight up lefties. Trick Room setup would actually be perfect for my team, but... Alright, so Blastoise is done. Perfect move set, high level, max EVs, everything's good. I'm happy with you. Next up is Weavile. Skeevile, who has a pretty bad nature and a pretty terrible ability. But, really high attack, really high speed. Uh, which is awesome. Unfortunately, I only have these moves, which aren't great. Um, this is a weird move. The user steals the effects of any healing or stat changing move the foe attempts to use. I feel like that's only good if they use Wish. That move sucks. Uh, the best move I have is Crunch. Everything else is pretty useless. Uh, it might be worthwhile. So I definitely want to sash it. And then... I can just swords dance it. Wait, that move steals status effects as well? I'm confused why it's 2x and not 2.25. It would be 2.25 if you were talking about a 50% increase, so 150%, and then a 50% increase on that total 150%, aka 75 plus 150, 225. You're right. But it doesn't stack like that. It calculates off the base. So the base is 100, and you just you do it off that. And you never do the extra. It's not like it does it one in one. It's always off the base. Because otherwise, there would have to be an order, right? Like, the buff for Stab affects after the buff from Drizzle. But they both affect at the same time. They don't compound. Yeah, it's a simple interest, not a compound interest. Uh, I still think that move's pretty terrible because it's so situational. Swords Dance seems just goaded. Especially if I'm, uh sashed so I can tank any hit in the world and use a swords dance and I'll be faster than most mons and then I can just do a 2x attack that's good then I need an ice type move I don't I think I can learn ice punch probably uh, ice shards also pretty good yeah Uh, what can you teach me? Fighting's a weird option here. Ice Shard is kind of cool. Icicle Crash is so risky. But it's so good. I 
think I don't get this, and I think I go for Ice Punch, which I can get. I saw you and Cutie walking through the Venetian, but I got too shy to say hi. Ah, oh, brother, you should have said hi. I love meeting people. If you meet me, I'm the fucking, I'll be the most Ludwig I've ever been in my life. You'll be like, what's up? And I'll be like, the plan is simple. Hey, tall guy, want a picture? Don't look taller than me. I'm going to bow my tippy toes. <laughs> I'll do the whole nine yards. Don't do that. Why not? I'm going to meet these people one time likely in my life, in their life as well. And this five minute interaction with me is all they'll ever remember me for. So might as well be the guy that they see me as every day, you know? I'm not going to be like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm just like here with like my girlfriend. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> that would be uh, so sad. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna do that ice punch. Is it worth getting ice shard? I mean, it seems a little useless when I have such high speed, but it's definitely better than punishment. I guess there are situations where it's probably useful. Priorities are so always advantageous. Uh, and then I think the last thing I'm going to do is get Ice Punch, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's check out Fire Rama for a minute. Do you remember the secret code? I know the code. No one came up to me in Vegas and said it, though. Fake Out just seems goaded. Fake Out? Oh, what a fucking amazing move. Are you serious? Fake Out on somebody with almost 200 attack? With guts? Oh, amazing. Honestly, any priority move on Hariyama is just amazing. Wait, do they not have any? Cross chop's really good. What? Hey, lad. You're looking skinnier and sexier. On God, on a stack, no cap. Thanks, Chicks Ethan. Appreciate that. Dude, uh, belly drum's stupid. Belly drum's so dumb. I mean, it's a great move, but if I belly drum with guts and I'm burned, I'm gonna be like fucking plus nine. I'm gonna do insane damage, but I'll also be at half health every time. I can't use a citrus berry because I have guts, which is more valuable, I think. Bullet punch? Is that the only priority move you can get? Where's mock punch? I guess mock punch would be a little OP. We're talking what, 60 when I get guts? It's is guts 2x? It is, right? It's 1.5. Guts is 1.5, so it'd be 90. 90 attack with priority. I mean, that's pretty fucking insane. Oh, facade. Yeah. Isn't that move literally made for getting us? Oh, yeah. I should learn facade. I also think I want to learn not cross chop. I want to learn brick break. Or do I just keep close combat over brick break?
Do I even have Brick Break? I don't. Well, that makes the decision easy. Close combat will do 240 damage. On a man with almost 200 attack. So that's pretty good. Uh, okay. First thing I need to do is find Ice Punch. Somebody said it's south of here. It's in here. It's in a hose. In a house. Oh. How do I get that? Seems like some good shit. You're looking skinnier and sexier. By God, you look like a whole ass snack. Straight up bussin. On God, on a stack, no cap. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, King. Bless up. Bless up. Uh, the answer is no, I'm not skinnier, though. Um, I have gained weight. I'm at 203 right now, so appreciate that, though. Still appreciate that. I did go back to the gym today. Wait, that's the code. I forgot it. <laughs> I forgot it. What? What are you doing teaching me mud slap? Oh, why is that under special move? Uh, okay, for this we ditch snatch and then my move sets goaded crunch ice punch ice shard sword stance that's great knockoff isn't a terrible move how much does knockoff do in damage They hold items. Almost everybody does, yeah. Uh, let's try it. I mean, fuck it. Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, that might be worth it. I think it's worth it. Sixty five, that's that's pretty goaded. It does one point five X when they have an item? Wait, really? I thought it just got rid of the item. Oh, so this shit's literally more powerful. It's gonna do ninety seven point five? against everybody that's so good that's stronger than crunch and it gets rid of their item not even including stab oh baby uh is there any good shit you guys can teach my other mons you guys are kind of cracked uh no that's kind of a meme One of the punches could be kind of good. Wait, what's Vacuum Wave? Isn't that the special with priority? Yeah. Would be good if it wasn't special. 
No, I think the only move I need on this guy is... I forget already. What did I need? Facade. Love to hear it, Firebomb. Uh, Brick Break is easy to find. I'd recommend it for Elite Four because multiple mons use screens. Brick Break is in the Oribu Gate Cave. Yeah, Brick Break's probably better also because it's just higher PP and I'm going to run out of PP pretty fast on a combat. But for now, it's, it's not necessary. I'll get it later. I am curious about the location of Facade, though, if anyone knows. Any Facade Andes? Up your butt, XD. Okay, all right. Really appreciate that. It is in Jubilife. All right. I will find this instantly. It is likely in this building right here. You look like you're a facade man. Facade? No. Facade? Facade? Thank you, K-Dog, for the one year. Pussy Slayer, 2003 months of Prime. Hey, Ludwig, YouTube Frog here, doing my due diligence to use my Twitch Prime. Boys, check if you've got your Twitch Primes yourselves. Totally free. Anyways, thanks for putting a smile on my face daily. Thank you, gamer. Uh, Alright, we got Facade, which is TM46. Kappa, 42. And Facade is kind of goaded. What? Because it does 70 damage, which doubles if I'm burned, and I have Guts, so it's doubled 1.5x, which means it does 210? No, I'm saying it does 210 because I'm gutsed out of my mind. But that's not even as much as close combat. But I guess close combat. Is that more than brick break? Yeah. It's way more. Okay. Guts. Yeah, I'm just talking about guts. Brick Break will do 150. Hey Lot, just saw your vid. Congrats on the unban. Thanks for everything you do, man. You are really inspirational to me and many others. Keep being you less than three. Thank you, man. What? If we ever meet, can I ask for a bro hug or would you laugh and me? Uh, yeah, I give you a hug, sure. I'm vaxxed out of my mind. I usually go for a fist bump. I like to be a little more casual. Wait. Who do I have to kick out for Umbreon? Probably Asri, right? I could also just keep Umbreon out, but I really don't have 
many tanks anymore. Like, I got one tank, which is cool, but... Makes me a little nervous. I like having more tanks. I guess I'm still fine with Blastoise as well. He's pretty tanky. Switch in Paris, he's ready. Eh, I don't know about all that. Think of the 16 months of Prime PD. Uh, all right, the only other thing I got to do, Torterra's got a 4x weakness. Yeah, but uh, Blastoise defends against that. He resists it. Jay Nibbles, think of the fucking 20 gifted bots. That is insane. It's a lot of money. Uh, wait. I need to make sure that stalling is actually good. So let's change curse to reflect. And let's change leech seed to light screen. And then we're good. All right. My team is now ready. Wow. Hey, lad, your birthday For the is gym. the 6th of July, right? That is right, Sarah. I gotta piss real quick. Thank you for the um, host, Melon Up. Appreciate that, bro. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, okay, the most advantageous thing to do with Blastaz is just constantly have him be burned. Blood, let's be honest. 20 gifted is pocket change compared to what I gave for your subathon. Keep up the good work. Not wrong, but still, $100 $100. And uh, nary a day would I insult getting a hundred dollars. Wait, why the hell didn't he get burned? Oh. Because he has leftovers. Oh! Because I'm supposed to be doing this with fucking Hariyama. 
I'm so stupid. <laughs> Check your DMs, Clint messaged you? What? Okie dokie, I'll keep that in mind, dankies. Did you steal my dog collar joke? Not like a hello, how's it going? Hey man, been a while, hope you're doing well. It was in a recent Clint video. Ah! Okay, I, I don't know what the joke is. Is the joke that it's a kink for him? I got shocked. From Woody's gamer tag. So yeah, I did steal it. <sighs> I'd like to apologize for taking this Woody. Uh, I hope things are going well. I took the dog collar thing from you. Clint, all I took from you was your laugh, your sense of humor, your entire YouTube description, and your editing style. And anything that is not that, that I get accused of stealing, is fucking wrong. And I resent that. You're my man. <laughs> he said, I forgive you. What a sweetheart. Still didn't respond to my DM, mind you. Literally, Dono walled my DM to ask me if I stole his joke. But it's alright. That's how it goes with Clint. Clint's nice. Because he'll just straight up ignore my message. And then I'll double text and he'll ignore that. But he has never ignored a triple text. I think when he sees the third message he hasn't responded to, he goes, All right, Ludwig. <laughs> and then sends me the final response. But I gotta do three. And they have to be spaced out. Uh, okay, so Hariyama should just get straight up leftovers, right? Is it crazy if I gave Hariyama something like a choice band? <laughs> Imagine? That would be crazy. I think Leftovers is just kind of goaded. Life Orb would be a quick way to die instantly. Keep it simple, stupid. Let's just go with the lefties. Do I not have lefties anymore? What the fuck happened? Am I a broke bitch? I thought I literally. You just ever had doing them. a chess stream again? Yeah, I'll play chess. I love chess. Here's the Clint clip. All right, all right. Let's check it. Look at this: an entire lobby of chatters, and yet I'm like half lap in front of all of them. It's too easy. I hope I had someone. I hate Kanye! Get <laughs> Excellent. I lost everything to you twice, so now you're cursed. Oh, hey, 346. Mons. I was just watching this video. I, got <laughs> I was first, just watching it. Which just ended up being barked. <laughs> I remember someone from chat suggested that I should get a shot collar for the dog. And I was like, oh my god, no, I don't want to hurt the dog. It's terrible. And then someone was like, no, 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 for yourself. You put the shot collar on yourself. And then if she truly loves you, she'll stop barking. All right, we'll see. We'll see if they can keep up with these lines. That'd be funny they if you got a dog collar and your dog barked to set it off. Uh, guys, tomorrow. <laughs> Tune in. No, I, I took mine from Woody's Gamertag, though. Because I remember he did a shock collar review. 
and I wanted to do that but heightened so I got like five shot callers and then I thought a you laugh you lose at the shot caller would be funny so I tried that today and now I just have a shot caller kink on stream don't kill me please you're literally burned in my first Pokemon there's like a fucking 900% chance you die. Uh, to think otherwise is just crazy. <laughs> You're definitely dead, bro. I, you just got to accept that. Fake out plus burn is kind of bad. Wait, why? How is that bad? Next Pokemon. Name it Tax Evasion. Jay, XD. only name it after viewers, not dead memes. I am now a fully compliant tax paying man. Oh, because I'm going to take burn damage. But Lefties covers almost the full amount of burn. Uh, let's get everyone to about 63. Because I think my level cap is 65 or 6. Change your clip channel name to just Ludwin. No one likes the name Ludwin Clips. No, no one just... Everyone likes having something to be mad about. So if I just give people what they want, they're going to be sad because they want to be mad at shit. Oh, I need to teach someone rock shit. Fuck. I want Ludwig 2 Clips. Burn halves your attack, but with Guts, it ignores that and 1.5x is it. So, fake out those 60 damage. I need to teach someone rock clip or climber shit. Uh, who should learn this? Probably Azri. And I just get rid of Wild Charge. Or do I get rid of Thunder Punch? No, I just get rid of Wild Charge. Because there's no point in having a Focus Sash Wild Charge. It's literally stupid. All right, after, I think, two hours. Has, this, has it been two hours? That's the thing about Ludlocks. 90% of it is just setting your team up for success. That's the thing about Pokemon as a whole. All right, this is our first test. This is our first test. Let's see how it goes. Uh, okay, we're going to use Fake Out. was a lot of damage. Oh my god, that... Did I not give him leftovers? No, I did mean the Elite Four. I was preparing for the Elite Four, but I have to get there first. I still have the flame orb? I'm so stupid.
Uh, jump Pluff, Flying Grass, best mod to defeat this. Just straight up Blastoise. Nope, that's grass. Weavile. I should, probably should have gone Electivire. This is kind of scary. I'm so weak as a Pokemon that I might just die. I'm so frail. But I'm also fast. Let's go! 4x damage! Just rock ground, no? Seems like a good Blastoise pick. No, rock steel. Steel ground? What? Next Pokemon named oh. after me. I don't do it off Donos because then it's a fucking war of rich people. So I just do random people in chat. But I also won't get a Pokemon, I don't think, again. War Bear. Actually, I think I get one more. Uh, and then Aura Sphere just crushes. Actually, Surf crushes. Whatever. Wait, how is Aura Sphere 4X? I thought he was ground steel. He is steel rock. Okay. Wall Rain is ice water, so flash cannon or Aura Sphere. But I think Aura Sphere's better for no reason. Water does resist steel. True. Whoa, you're tanky. Okay, so far... I'm pretty happy with the team that I've created. My rain is getting used against me, but I am... Still, we have some holes. Some holes that we need to work out. Woo! Okay, that was a overall easy fight. Happy Gate, not very good. Destroyed on every level. Uh, I do want to take away... Wait, I do have leftovers. Chat, why didn't they activate? Your team needs an Alakazam. They go before burn and I was full health. Okay. Wait, did it not heal burn? No, it did. You're my man. This is going to be a pain in my ass.
Oh. Um, I would like to apologize for freaking out. That was not that much damage, and I was quite capable of tanking it. <clears throat> I just assumed that a nasty plot, super effective move would kill me instantly, but it uh, it wasn't it wasn't close. I didn't I didn't know that that was how that worked. Zen headbutt's physical. Then that was that was stupid as fuck <laughs> of him. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a constant juggle of switching out lefties and flame orb that I'm gonna forget and get lazy to do. Oh, I remember. Oh, damn it. Okay, one thing I'm noticing is it could be. Is this really my best starter Pokemon? I guess it is. Uh, there it is. Okay, that was kind of wasteful. What the hell is that? What the hell? What is, uh, what is that? It restores all your PP? What? That sounds dope. You think I can dodge this guy? Real question, Toe. What emulator are you using? I would never use an emulator. I'm using a Korean DS. Uh, all right, Snorlax. Let's cut the bullshit. I don't need a... F Actually, I should just use close combat off rip. Because I'm definitely faster. It'll kill. Chugging along. 240 damage with 200 attack. That's good for me. Uh, Psychic Water. Uh, what's the best Mon? Oh yeah, Half Dark. Knock off. Okay, why do you always have a Pokemon to counter my Pokemon? Uh, Blastaz. What? Reduces the power of a fire type move. Surf is activated. Torterra, Grass Ground. Ice Beam, 4x effective. But do I really want to tank a grass hit? Because I'm. No, I'm faster. All right, this is getting scary. You aren't supposed to be winning. When is the throwing for content going to start? Oh, I'm done with that bullshit. I'm going to crush it now. He's on switch mode? No, I'm not. I'm on set. I just switched out. <laughs> Does this old man fight me, you think? He doesn't seem like a fighter. That is not what you look like. No shot. Bro, you were like 78 years old. I'm just saying his avatar was Bob Barker now, and then his actual icon when he came in battle was like Bob Barker in goddamn 1960. Uh, does close combat kill? Isn't he normal poison? I think so. Let's find out.
I looked it up. Bob Barker is 97. Because <laughs> I looked up The Price is Right on his 80th birthday. And that was in 2004. They always got a flying type. Um... I am noticing I have a problem with Pokemon that are flying type at the moment. What is good against flying? I guess just intimidating. I think the best Pokemon is probably just as Revire. Because then I can tank the hit. And then I can kill. I'm going to die to a crit. But I'm definitely faster. But do I kill? Fuck. Dude, I really don't want to lose a Gyarados. That's a run ender. I'm faster. <sighs> Alright, this should kill. He's a level 64. What the fuck? I just noticed that. Why is he level 64? What the fuck is going on? Rock, steel. I mean, I could probably just kill with the waterfall. Super effective and 1.5x stab and 1.5x rainfall. It's just gonna fucking kill. Yo, I if I'm to drink RM, but I've been watching since 2019, and it's cool, cool to see how big you've grown. Smiles, I hope nothing but success for the rest of your life. Smile. Thank you, buddy. The only concern is if he has sturdy. It's not worth the risk. Thanks for the ten dollars smile. I think this is fifth gen sturdy, because this is uh, technically gen eight ROM, gen eight physics at least or logic. God, it feels like every time I swap, there's like someone who's super effective against me who swaps in. Uh, either way, this guy's bug fighting, maybe? Uh, Gyarados should be fine. Faster Waterfall does 2x right now. 160 damage with a chance to flinch. Should be good. But my god, a level 64. It's so high. I might I might need to get ah! Ah! No! No! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, 
I'm worried he has a priority move. I'm really stressed about a priority move. I don't want to stay in. Fine, I got a focus sash. And then I can just use Ice Shard, which is super effective. No, it's neutral, I think. But it should kill still. Although I guess we know he doesn't have a priority move. So might as well just punch. Oh Try adding the move Glock. Very effective. Yeah. Trainer pulls out Glock. Trainer pulls out Blicky and makes Pincer go stiffy. Would be ideal. What? Graduated high school today after moving to a new school as a senior. Can't tell you how boring it is to sit through 700 strangers' names. Kind got fucked by COVID like everyone else. Feel that. Thanks for making my year less sad. Yesterday's stream was hilarious. Oh, appreciate that. Yesterday's stream. What did we do yesterday? Oh, the story? Yeah, that was good. Uh, I will tell you, <laughs> as somebody who had not one but two degrees, sitting through a college of students in graduation twice was so boring. Because you don't know half of these fuckers. But everybody gets called up. How do you not get nervous talking to hot people? You have to have the mindset that nobody is out of your league. Because everybody is going to succumb to the sweet, sweet mercy and terror of aging. And they're all gonna get ugly as fuck. Everybody. I don't think of who the hottest person in the world is right now to you. And then put a reminder in your phone for 2050 and then look at them. And then you're going to be like, damn, they're ugly as fuck now. <laughs> and then it's a lot easier. Yeah, you'll have to keep the same phone charge. Posture check everyone. Hydrate to rare charm. I really don't appreciate you posture checking me while I'm literally on my ass, but uh... How do I beat this Pokemon? Ice Beam? No. How do I beat you? I have nothing. Alright, Jebaited, time to bring in Gyarados. I have Reflect, that's up for 8 turns, and he's minus 1 Intimidated. Should be free. Lamau.
What? What? Wait, there's no sleep claws? Are you dead ass? I thought for sure there was a sleep clause. Dude, why don't I just get a Pokemon with a spore? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Victory Road. I hate it. All right, wow. fake out literally could kill. No way Jennifer Aniston's getting ugly at this point. She won the gene pool. 100%. 100%. I mean, you can, she'll age gracefully is the correct terminology. Because, you know, old people aren't necessarily ugly. They're still beautiful in their own right. But they're not like... You know. My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack when they're 85. You're also talking about movie stars who not only get the advantage of plastic surgery makeup every time you see them, but they also are only remembered by the few interactions you have with them in movies or red carpet events. You don't see, like, Jennifer Aniston after, like, a giant pile of shit exited her ass because she had diarrhea from having too much dairy and she's sweating and gets up. And that's real shit. What, what the hell is it delayed? Psychic fighting. All right, I'm just gonna switch to Gyarados. Wake up, Mr. West! Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. By himself, he's so impressed. Can you can you please wake up, though, for real? I would appreciate it. Perhaps just a koi waterfall for the fans. Mm. All right, you guys want to see the most five-head strat of all time? Well, actually, I'm already two in. Might as well just... Okay, really? Three in a row? All right, now I'm in crit range. I gotta leave. I'm gonna switch into Weavile. Who's sleeping? Come on. I was gonna go to Weavile, but he's sleeping. <laughs> All right, Azri. What you got for us? What you know about... Oh, wait, I'm a fighting type. Focus Ash! And a crit. GG! This blows. What do I do? How do I beat this fucker?
This is where I wish I had my Umbreon. I'm gonna go get my Umbreon back. I need my Umbreon. Hi, Lot. This is Jennifer Aniston. Thank you about your comment <laughs> on me taking a massive dumb. That was, as you people would call it, very poke cham. How are you feeling, Lot? Victory Road going well, I see. Are you at all nervous? Smile your old pal, Togotic. Uh, my reflect ended. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with a very, very classy Hyper Potion. Scam. My rule is I only use as many potions as they use. Uh, or one. Whichever is higher. Stupid rule. Really? I think it's genius. I think if they use potions in battle and I don't, that's dumb. So fuck this piece of shit trainer who spams Spore. And there's no fucking sleep claws. And I took three turns of sleep on my Gyarados. Cringe as hell. Sleep claws is in pro play. I didn't know that where only one Pokemon on a team can be asleep. Because Spore is a 100% accurate move that causes your Pokemon to fall asleep, and it has no real, like, um, negatives, drawbacks. So, you could feasibly just use Spore six times on a Pokemon like Breloom, who's really fast. You could Choice Scarf, uh, Spore. You're gagging, amigo. Don't check your closet. Don't check your closet. I am definitely not hiding in your closet. I am also not in your walls. I am also not eating through your floorboards. This is all your imagination. Thank God. I was nervous. I'm chewing through my potions. Where's Wake Up Mr. West thing? Do I not have one? Where's Wakey Wakey's? I don't want to use a full heal. Do I not have an awakening? Oh, I do. I should switch in Umbreon in lieu of Weavile, to be honest. Or as Revire. I need to get rid of one of them. They're not good enough in conjunction. They're both too weak. Uh, yeah, I think I just get rid of Asri for now. And I don't have a Focus Sash, so I definitely just get rid of Asrivire. For now. 
Might be more beneficial in the Elite Four, but a very good Mon whose purpose to kill and destroy will end up with me getting killed and destroyed. Oh, he does have Rock Climb, though, which I need. All right, which means we're getting rid of our Weavile. <laughs> All those things about two week was just a meme, by the way. Just fucking around. Just having a little bit of a laugh. A little bit of a giggle. A little bit of a meme. Just a bit of a goof. Alright, I need to go to level 64 because everybody is level 64 and they're fucking me up. <gasps> That's actually fine. Because of how rarely I'll use him. <laughs> Wait, rare candies are allowed? Bro, this is gonna fuck your day up. I've used rare candies on every single Pokemon. For three months. <laughs> this is old news. You might as well have said, wait, Twitch now has Twitch Prime? a free subscription available for everyone? Like, all you have to do is click the subscribe button, see if it says subscribe free, and it's a free sub? What? You're telling me right now, hey, boys, if I switch over from my shitty Valorant gold match, which, let's be real, it's 11-4 right now, are we really coming back on this one? And tab in, I could click the subscribe button, see if I have a free Prime subscription, and use it on my favorite creator? Off rip? With no penalty to myself. Hmm. And if I don't use it, I lose 17 cents of value every day. Hmm. Curious. Curious, chat. Could be worthwhile, then. Thank you for Prime GB Gaming. Thank you, Luke Codes. Appreciate it. Hey, I did that for two primes. I'll take that. <gasps> Bait main. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Hey, tab in. Boys, use your primes. If you enough you use them, the hype train starts again, and that's pretty colors on the screen, so that's 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 cool. Am I stupid? Why don't I see the max repel? Dude, I swear it doesn't exist. Oh. Thank you, Snuffy. Thank you, Soksa. Thank you, Zaps. Baka, thank you, Rusty Bucket, Pit, um, Pit Mon Monius, Pit Monius, that's it, probably. Uh, thank you, Damon, Benny, Chai Mac, Rev, Indy or Not, S Activate $5. Hi, love, would you ever hey. do stand up again and maybe do a stream where you present your material? Mm, no, I don't think I would. Uh, because stand-up on Twitch does not sound nearly as cool as stand-up live. Stand-up on Twitch sounds a bit cringe. <laughs> what a waste of a repel. Oh, there's the hype train! Let's fucking go! Thank you, Leo. Jake Smiley Face. You can't get booze on Twitch? Are you serious? You get more booze. They're called Omega Lols. And people on Twitch hand out Omega Lols. Like, by the dozen. They love handing out Omega Lols.
Thank you, Cry. Appreciate that Prime Jake Smiley face thing of the 14 months. Appreciate the Primes, chat. Ultimate or untimely cashew scale. Anonis. Anonis. Five and zero. Noah gifted five subs, which is super sweet. Appreciate that. Holy shit, Rice Man with a 10 bomb out of nowhere. Did you ever get a custom mechanical keyboard? Also, yeah. speaking of primers, I haven't been thanked for my sub for roughly seven months. All I wanted was a crumb, a fucking crumb. What? Hi, Lud. It's me, know. Closet Man. I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. My sprinkler goes like this. You double down. Thank you, squirt a lot for the ten gifted man. Comes back like. I did get a custom keyboard, which I did show off to chat. I'll show it again. But I couldn't find your name. It's gone. Squirt a lot. Thank you, the ten man. It's pretty beautiful. It's supposed to look like a rose. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, I have a cap on how many potions I use, but uh, fuck these shitty ass trainers who are abusing stupid ass rules. I'm using an awakening. Kiss my ass and my anus. Arrow pain. Thank you for the eight months of Prime Stinson. Sid, Ninja Dammy, Parksa, thank you for the primes. Oh, yeah, baby, that's that good shit. Fuck you. Dark. Just dark. Oh. <gasps> I've had so many close calls in Victory Road already. I've had like three Pokemon get to red. Four. Not including Focus Ash. Dude, he might have Pursuit. Thank you, Major Tom, for the 300 bits. Thank you, Gabri, for the prime welcome. Roman, as well, in the Blue Jay. Nice keyboard. Appreciate it. What's the cap on potions? Usually, I use as many potions as they have, which is oftentimes one, maybe two. And that's the rule I abide by. But um, I, I I get so pissed off from spore and hypnosis and the lack of, you know, rules against making multiple Pokemon fall asleep that uh, sometimes I just frustratingly spam it. Is there a rules document? I think it's literally exclamation point rules. Okay, we've got like a thousand subs today. It's a crazy amount. Like new subs. Thanks for the sub chat. Appreciate it. We also happen to drop uh, 1500. So, you know. <laughs> Or even. It's 
Step it up. I just have barely been live this month. I'll say it. I gotta stop taking trips. I've taken too many. Wait, this seems so familiar to me. This exact section. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go to the left. But first... Dragon scale. Don't fuck me. Thank you, Loop CS, for the raw tier one. Hey, I got the scale to level you. Uh, sometimes Kingdra can have thunder coverage. Here's my name, I just changed it on Twitch so it didn't show up for some reason. Also, do you know what kind of switches are in the keyboard? Uh, Glorious Pandas. And thank you, Tater, for the five men. Oh, you're Dragon type! Yeah, I watched a Nintendo Direct this morning. Not on stream, though. Hey, Lud. Just wanted to say thanks for doing this Ludlock. It's brought back a lot of great memories of watching the Black and White 2 Ludlock. Best of luck to you. Ludic Absolutely, man. Seven. Thank you the 10, Nylon. Please don't lose to my trainer. I don't want to be the reason you lose this run. It's been two months, Oharan. I know. Uh, I don't feel great about the situation right now. Could have an ice type move, which would suck. Also, water's gonna hit me kind of hard. Dead. First and foremost, I'd like to thank myself for absolutely clutching that. Okay, okay, okay. It only kills if it crits, so I'm fine. Set up rain for Kingdra. Well, it's not exactly apparent. Play rough. Nice. 
Nah, Ben, I'm crushing. Ooh, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, might have Swift Sim. Possible. Battle's hard as fuck. This is the first Pokemon. <laughs> this is the literal first Pokemon. Uh, I'm not feeling great right now. Muddy Water isn't 100% accuracy, and I don't think it increases because of rain, but that shit did not miss. Ben. I might have fucked you for life there. Dragon? I mean, just play rough. Although I'm minus one, so this might not even do half. Wow, that was weak as fuck. I mean, let's just keep it a buck. The best thing I can do is switch into Gyarados, Intimidate, minus one, and then use uh, Waterfall. I think it's about time I get rid of Substitute. And add Ice Beam. No, I can't add Ice Beam to Gyarados. Ice Punch? Can Gyarados learn that? Ice Fang. Yeah, I think I get Ice Fang. Bounce could be good. <gasps> no! No! Come on, come on! Victory Road. This is miserable. <sighs> My God. Alright, I should now be able to kill with my priority. Dude, I, this actually, I actually love Hariyama. Swapping into Hariyama, who has 300 health, and then doing a fake-out bullet punch with burn guts. Just, it's so good. be about 230 HP. I think I got a bloody nose from yelling. Oh my god. Uh, flying. He's actually dragon in this game. But he probably has flying coverage. Just blast toys. He's gonna use a flying move, it's a two turn move, so let's just find out. Because he's not gonna use a flying move, then Blastoise should live anything. Okay, there it is. I forgot about Hurricane. That is stupid of me, but I did forget. <laughs> I did forget about that one. Uh, Ice Beam is not 4x effective. No. Why would you say that? neutral. Surf's also neutral. Uh, 
Uh, this should do a lot of damage, though. As long as Dragon Pulse doesn't... Oh, that, that's going to kill next turn. Oh, fuck. No, I have leftovers. I think I live anything but a crit. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. I live everything that's not a crit. Come on, baby, let's go! Give it to me, game! <laughs> oh, God, I really don't like Victory Road. I really don't like it. Oh, my gosh. Stressful. Stressful. There's no way I could have won. True. There's literally zero way. I actually am just better than you, Drewsome. Hi, Lud. Eating it's me, the man hiding under your floorboards. What's up, man? I have a bet with Closet Man that I would touch your dumpy before he does. A little concerning. Don't mind me. I'ma just chew through your floorboards and caress your nice, just juicy, delicious, sexy, hot, yummy dumpy. Would appreciate a bit of consent there, my man. Wait. Is this the right way? Okay, it is. Don't fight me. Don't fight me, old man. Uh, no, I'm not healing the burn because I have guts. I'm a little bit nervous that a, a trainer battle is coming up. I'm pretty confident there is one. Very soon. I actually am positive there is. Talk to the nurse. Uh, I mean, I don't want to heal because I want burn. No, there there is a boss battle coming up because there's uh, there's two boss battles, right? Because you have to fight Cutie and then you have to fight Barry, I think. And Barry's the last one, or Clevin, I guess. So I, I should check my PP first of all. Let's make sure I have good PP. You know, let's just do this. Just use a max repel. Hey Lud, it's your boy, man hiding in your ceiling. Just popping my head down to say. I don't know those other fucks. Super weird champ of the Mimo. I'll give them wow. a stern talking to next time I see them at the man hiding in places convention. Appreciate that. Concerned there's a convention, but um... Yeah, thanks for looking out. I think this is it. Yeah, there's a boss fight. Who the fuck are you? Oh, no. Okay. All right. All right. Boss fight time. Prediction mods.
Holy shit, it's 1 a.m. All right, it's my final fight. Sorry, I had a little bloody nose. Every time I go to, like, Vegas or Arizona, my nose just floodgates. I swear to God, I lost a pound of blood. It just wouldn't. I was like a 35-minute bloody nose in Vegas. Coke? No, I, I don't know. There's kind of some kids who just get bloody noses. And I was that kid. And, uh... When I moved from New Hampshire to fucking Arizona, it was like, it was literally every day until I adapted. What? Hey, lad. Man in your bathroom cabinetry here. Just informing you that you and Cutie's shits are fucking rank. Jesus. Can I focus on the game, sir? Uh, all right. Good news is that um, I have leveled up all my Pokemon to 65. Uh, bad news is that all of Shake's Pokemon are level 66. But I start out with Blastoise, which is good because it buffs Water-type moves. So as long as Shake's first Pokemon isn't a Water-type, then I'm gonna crush this bitch. Why is Shake so cute? What a cute fuck. Okay, I don't love that. I don't love that. Ay, 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 ay. Starmie is just water psychic, so. So what? I could switch into stalling, but psychic's gonna fuck me up. Actually, no, it won't. Let me just switch into stalling. Water's neutral, and it will do a good chunk of damage, but uh, it won't kill me because it can't crit. So let's set up a light screen. <gasps> Ice! Come on, please, one more miracle. I started with Blastoise. I should have switched. So unlucky I didn't look. That sucks. That's just so much damage. I live a Hydro Pump as long as it doesn't crit. Hydro Pump's also low accuracy. I That is fine. Lower. Okay, he's going to use low kick. I can use this opportunity to switch into Gyarados. Gyarados will use an Intimidate, minus one. And then any Ice type moves neutral because I'm water flying. Fucking kidding me. Fuck you. What a joke. Oh, so upsetting. What an absurd amount of damage. Uh, I wanted to use Dragon Dance, but I don't have the HP anymore for that. I just gotta use an Earthquake. Just making sure...
A potion's not even a good idea. Switch in a Hariyama who can tank one and then I can use fake out and that will kill. Got the low kick crit. So fuck. Can also switch in a Blastoise who will tank one ice crash and then hit him, but I'm just gonna suffer so much damage from like a crunch. He also has Aerial Ace, but it'd be so weird to use Aerial Ace against a Gyarados. Like, so it wouldn't be that weird. He could luckily use Aerial Ace, which would just fucking ruin my Hariyama. Any priority moves? No. I'm gonna go Hariyama and pray that he uses... High school crash. Oh. It's actually kind of good for me. Oh, fuck. I almost spammed the day. Oh, my God. Okay. Fake out. I think fake out flash cannon kill. Flash cannon's super effective against ice. And it has guts, so it's gonna do 120. Or bullet punch. I don't know why I said flash cannon. I think bullet punch can kill. If it doesn't kill, then I'm very fucked. He's minus one, I'll live. But that sucks. Pokemon down is a fair start. I'm gonna have 70 health on my Fire-Rama though. My Gyarados is weak. I get one potion usage, which I have to consider who I use that on. The good news, however, is the rain is still falling and I still have a fully healed Blastoise. Oh. All right, he has psychic moves, so he's probably gonna use one. So that means we get a free Umbreon switch. And then Crunch will just kill. Fuck. What a dipshit. Now, Crunch is just goaded here, because even if he switches out, it should hurt everybody. That's really big for me. Finally, a stroke of luck. God, every Hydro Pump was hitting. Just, I had a bad start because I didn't expect the trainer to be there. I didn't realize that was Shake. I guess I should have guessed the Made Cafe outfit was Shake Drizzle. After watching so many Amazon streams, he's just turned full. Uh, Sceptile? Is Sceptile some crazy shit in this ROM hack? I'd imagine so. Maybe like Grass Fairy uh, is my concern. But I don't know. If it is Grass Fairy, then I need to swap. Um,
Sceptile is also one of the fastest Pokemon in this game. It's probably Fairy. Uh, Sceptile's Grass Dragon. I would have never have known that. Jesus Christ, what? What a random <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, which is chill. The problem isn't Grass Dragon, however. It's that Sceptile also has Focus Blast. Focus Blast is super fucking powerful. 120 damage. Definitely kills Swift. Does 240. Just fucking owns him. But does it kill... Gyarados with 60? A crit will kill my Gyarados. I don't think something that's not a crit will, though. Let's go in. Let's go into Gyarados and heal Gyarados. I um, might regret this. This could be it. This could be it for Gyarados. Intimidate doesn't matter. It's special. Yes! Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, the next move that will be used is probably just a Grass-type move, which is neutral against me. I'm just going to heal. Let's see how much damage it does. Because it could... If it does over half, I'm a bit fucked. Because Sceptile's way faster. And I'll have to swap. I'll probably have to sack Hariyama. Switch into Azri. Okay, that's fine. I don't die to a crit with that. That's fine. That's chill. It's not chill. It fucking sucks, but it's fine. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and then I can just use... Dragon Dance if I'm greedy. I think I might need to Dragon Dance almost. I need to Dragon Dance Waterfall. Waterfall's not very effective. No, it's... it's. Oh, no. He's also Dragon, though. Oh, wait. This is weird. Because he's dragon grass. Oh, no. Sceptile is a problem. Okay, Waterfall does 80 damage. It has a chance to flinch. More importantly, it has Rain power up and Stab power up, which means that it does 20, it does 40 damage. And Earthquake does 50. I think I gotta use Waterfall. I don't think the 10 damage differential is worth it. 
I think the chance to flinch with a dragon dance is worth it. Flinch! Come on, this is so big. This is everything for me. This isn't easy. Septile should be faster than every person on my team. So if I switched into Azrevire and tanked in Energy Blast because I'm focus sashed, I would likely die the very next turn because Septile will move before me. I could then alternatively switch into Fire-Rama. Fire-Rama would die almost assuredly. If it didn't, I could do major damage, but if it almost assuredly die. Then I could switch into Azrevire, and I could use Thundershock once, and that is not even very effective. So it probably wouldn't Kill. Uh, in fact, I really don't have many moves. I'd probably have to use fighting, which would be neutral. But I don't, I don't know if that kills. So I sack Hariyama, and then I bring Azrevire in, and I use close combat, and maybe, maybe I kill. But if I don't, then I'm <laughs> fucked. Then I'd have to sack another mod. So then, what I could do is I could just bring out like Blastoise, and then sack Blastoise, and then bring out As Revire, who will do as much damage as possible with close combat, and then die, and then bring out Hariyama, who will kill with Fake Out, and then Advantage, Speed Boost, uh, Steel Move. But then I would get fucked by an Arcanine, which is coming. So then I think I could sack Swift. And if I sack Swift, because I'll, I'll live the first energy ball, but I'm so slow that I'm going to die to obviously uh, Focus Blast. Unless Focus Blast misses, which would be Pog. But if I do if it doesn't miss, then I die. Then I switch into Azrevire. And then I use my close combat, which will bring him down a lot. Probably I will die after that. Then I switch into Hariyama, who will kill. Then I'll have a fully healed Blastoise for the final two Pokemon. But one of them is a Crobat. 
which is a problem. So that's game plan one. Go in a swift, hope that focus blast missed so I can at least hit a confuse ray. And then maybe with the confuse ray, focus blast just fucking rolls him and then I can kill him with like a play rough. If not, switch into as revire, do as much damage as possible, then switch into Hariyama. If that, f that's option one. Option two is I stay in with Gyarados and I use Waterfall and I pray I get a flinch. And if I don't get a flinch, that's fine because I can swap in a Hariyama who will kill with my fake out steal most likely. But if I do that, which is the highest percent chance of winning this battle, it also means I'm going to lose Gyarados. Who's my most valuable Pokemon. I mean, everything I do is built around Gyarados. And losing Gyarados would be gut-wrenchingly bad. So option one seems better. I can swap out Umbreon from Meganium. But option one is risky. Because it could... Because here's the thing. Option one's going to kill Sceptile. But I don't know if I'll be able to... I don't know if I'll be able to win the fight. What's more important, winning the fight or beating the game? There's times when you gotta make the call. And the rest of the game is going to be a lot harder. But it needed to be done. Keeping Hariyama. Unfortunately, Hariyama has a weakness against Crobat, who has inner focus, who would just tank a. Fo uh, all right, it is as Revire's time to shine. Yes!
<laughs> okay, yeah, I was going to say there's no universe that kills, but... Oh, fuck. If I had had Ice Fang, it would have been GG. And I talked about getting Ice Fang. And I won't be able to do it anymore. Fuck off, Shake. Eat shit. Alright? I don't want to go with you. Heal them. It's not how it works! Why did you throw? I don't think it was a throw. What's the percent chance of a flinch? Is it 30? Twenty. Twenty percent chance to flinch plus a ten percent chance to crit, which would have killed. If I switch into Umbreon, which is the only other viable option, Umbreon gets hit by Energy Ball, which probably won't kill. But Umbreon is slower than Sceptile, so Sceptile uses Focus. Honestly, Sceptile doesn't even need to use Focus Blast. If Sceptile has a half a brain, they'll just use Dragon Pulse, which will kill me. Or another Energy Ball, which will kill me. And then I have to swap into Azri V, who will use Close Combat. Which maybe kills. If it doesn't kill, then Azri V loses because it's slower. Azri V might have outsped. No. Septile has over 200 speed at this level, for sure. Septile is very fast. The thing about Azri V's, look, 183 speed. My Gyarados has 160. I don't think that... I think I should have stayed in. All right, stand by that. Fake out bullet punch might have killed. No, you have to remember this was over half health. Fake out bullet punch definitely don't kill. Earthquake on Weavile, as opposed to what? What did I do? Waterfall with Rain Boost? Waterfall is not very effective. Against Weavile. Wait, ice doesn't resist water? Let me tell you, I just found that out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have started with Blastoise if I knew that was the fight. I would have much rather had started with just... I, I, honestly, I would have started with fucking Azri V. And I would have swept. Uh, but unfortunately, this fight... Although I knew it was coming, I just didn't think it was right there. Well, chat, that... was fucking brutal. And to anyone who hated Dragon Dance sweeps... Uh, you're in luck, because we can't do it anymore. Do I not have an escape rope anymore? Do I have to really walk all the way out of here? Oh, dig. I don't have it. That sucks.
You're almost... Oh, fuck. You scared the shit out of me. No, I'm not almost there. Because assuredly, if Shake is going to, like, go with me, then he's probably going to fucking own me. He's also not healing them. No, I have to run all the way back. Oh, this sucks. This is as scary as the fight. Even if I won while keeping Gyarados alive, I would have had two Mons at most. This would be more terrifying. Is there like a way to just, you know, just dip? I can't, why do you have rocks? Why the fuck do you have rocks blocking the way? play was Umbreon tanking Energy Ball, and then the AI is going to use Focus Blast, then switching into Blastoise and the Focus Blast. Why Why would that be good? Okay, I tank the Focus Blast on Blastoise, and then Sceptile is faster than me, and just uses uh, Energy Ball, and I die. Okay, cool. Don't dwell on it. Well, I don't mind talking about it, but that play makes no sense. I was wrong, sorry. <laughs> I, I I think, uh, one, I could use Waterfall on the Weavile. I mean, the Weavile's super effective low kick was a shame, to say the least. Well, I, you know, my biggest mistake outside of that was probably using the potion on Gyarados and switching into Gyarados at all against Sceptile. I should have just t sacked someone there. And then healed up Hariyama. And that might have been the play. But I think with what I had, this was fine. And uh, it's also goodbye. Every single Ludlock I have ever done has been carried by one Pokemon. One hero, Glycidos, Magikarp was the next in line. I mean, shit, how many gyms? Did I destroy with an easy substitute dragon dance crushing sweep? I would love to do it one more time. But we can't. This is... sign I should use revive and keep him.
I missed him already. <sighs> All right, well, somehow this ragtag squad of six is going to have to figure out a way to be cutie, Clevin, and the Elite Four. But that's not until next time. Thank you for watching, boys. I appreciate it. That's the end. And that, uh... That was tough. And it's only gonna get harder. Peace out, boys. Till next time. We did our best, didn't we?